I always knew it, it was just something special about this, this group of guys right here, man. Brother, Brother Guys Podcast. What's going on, everybody? This is your host, Jay Manley of the Brother Guys Podcast. That's Malcolm is important. Man, I got two Twitters down, Firefish Saints and Mac and Poe. The Brother Guys Podcast. We have T-Rolls on the board. Three T-Rolls and three O's. Podcast. No. Uh, we were talking about Clubhouse earlier, Malcolm, and I was saying how I am glad that I'm not seeing uh, so many like moan rooms and like just a whole bunch of freaky shit. Even though the app, I feel like it's kind of trying some to dutty die. rooms. Definitely dutty, dutty rooms. Dutty rooms. Dutty, dutty rooms. <laughs> Y'all niggas. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not seeing a lot of those anymore. I'm telling uh, you, they trying to act right. They trying to get their shit together. Valentine's Day coming, coming up. Yeah, remember how we was this time last year? Who? Who? Yeah, who was we? I'm about to say, hold on, no, who? Malcolm, don't start, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> no, look, actually, we can talk about this. I'm pretty sure we was all in weird situations this Maybe time last 20? year. <laughs> was shit not weird for everybody this time yeah, last year? Last year, okay, I put it like this: last year, the person who I was trying to make my Valentine for real <laughs> was not fucking with me Damn. because of. Some other shit. <laughs> Obvious reasons. What I do last year? Last year Valentine's Day. <laughs> huh? Uh. Yeah, you funny. Hey, I'm just keeping it in the book, bro. That's just what we're doing. So where was you at? We're beginning February 2020. Well, I'm just saying this one. We, we threw the we threw the little event at the crib. You know, ain't nobody really show up, but we did yeah. it. Okay. Oh, Ooh. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And the, and so, yeah. Without saying too much. <laughs> Yeah, the <laughs> motherfucker who I wanted to come to that like didn't had, show up. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. She had something going on already, but we already had a conversation, so it wasn't no like hard feelings. But that wasn't on Valentine's Day though. Nah, you nah. remember that was like on like the tenth or some shit like that. Yeah, it was like the eighth or some shit. Oh, I yeah. remember the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember the day? Because remember the next remember weekend it. for other reasons. Okay, yeah, and I, I was about to say that, but I don't want to say it. Yeah, um, but. I just remember, like the next week, like it was like a, I ended up happening. I ended up getting into like an argument like a month later about some shit that happened on Valentine's Day that shouldn't have happened. I'll just like leave it there. But, yeah, I'm gonna say I don't know what you're talking about at all. I might. I was talking about on T Rose's end. Yeah, but I still confused, it but okay. you know all of it. Yeah, I remember me. And, well, y'all, everyone was next to each other, but like I used to see him go in and out a lot. Yeah. See that. Living there, realize how good I I realize how good I am at minding my business. Bro, yeah, cause, man, because I I be so confused <laughs> and shit. I be like, wait, what? Like, what the fuck? Is Where? I, don't, I don't even be snooping. Where? Bro. I, like, just be, I just I, happen to be. I be having to like run into shit. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I be subconsciously minding my business, like. Okay. Like subconsciously, they got nothing to do with me. I even like I'm you know. Type of, if I catch it, it's gonna slip my mind because they ain't got nothing to do with me. Got you, got so, you. Unless you bring it to me, and then I'll put it. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I, you don't, that ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I don't know. So. Do, y'all, do y'all have any uh, Valentine's Day uh, plans? Or no, I'm going to be working. Any Valentine's this year? Valentine's Day plans? Or, like, you know, you plan on sending anybody anything this year? Sending anybody anything? Yeah. I don't understand the question. Like, do you have any plans, like, to celebrate the you day? You got a Valentine that you trying to make yeah. plans with? No. Really? No. I did, but no. Rose? Probably not. Two eligible bachelors on the brother guys. I don't want none of you dutty hoes though. (laughs) (laughs) Dutty, (laughs) dutty. (laughs) Oh wait, y'all think some dutty hoes listen to it? Dutty some dutty hoes or some dirty hoes or dutty? Either or. Whichever one's your your natural dialect. Uh, (laughs) Oh, I I don't know if any dutty. Ones listen to us, but I, I say for me, Valentine's Day, we're we gonna see what happens, man. Right. I got some shit in my because I ain't been able to really like go in on Valentine's Day in like a long I'm ass time, bro. A long ass time? See, how is he not over 30? What is a long ass time? Mean, like three, like, mm, no. Uh uh-uh. uh. When's the last Valentine's Day that you enjoyed? That I enjoyed and celebrated, and like it was just like all like gravy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this is 2021. Well, that so. ain't never happened to me. 
<laughs> I have three Valentine's Days where anything happened. We could talk about all three of them. All I'm three. trying to think, bro. Damn near, bro. I want to say like 2016, bro. Okay. Honest, if I'm just being honest, like 2016, like that was lit. We went to Benihana's. Benny like, that was five years ago, 2016. I guess that's a long time ago. Yeah. To miss, like holiday wise, like missing, celebrating that's holidays. That's a long ass time, bro. I guess. I guess so. Uh, I guess I'll say 2019. It was either 2019 or 2018. Because mm. we, yeah, I was still with her. You want to touch on your three Valentine's Days real quick? Who, me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so right. the first Valentine's Day where I tried to do something. This is just the intro, yo. We ain't even getting to the podcast yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first on, Valentine's Day. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> just so y'all know, I tried to hit a sound. And that Why did you press it? Why didn't you hit it? We just went over this. Man, fuck two rows. All right, my first Google Valentine's Google. Day that I tried to have a Valentine on. Yeah. Um... I bought Shorty some chocolates, right? Mm-hmm. That's where you lost chocolate gross. No, look, because she liked chocolate. Right. But she specifically don't like the one I bought. And I, <laughs> and I knew that, right? Wait, what? <laughs> you do? Yeah. Actually, look, I didn't I didn't know, like, literally at the stove. But I knew, like, when I was handed to her, I was like, oh, she, she don't even fuck with these. Oh, my like, God. Mm-hmm. So, look, the next Valentine's Day. So, tell me why I accidentally bought her the same chocolate, same price. <laughs> Food. How'd you forget? It was a whole year. Jalen, what you want from me? But how do you forget that? How old were you again? How were you? I was like 13. Oh, okay. Oh, Never okay. Mind. And then okay. the next year, I was like 14. Yeah. What? When you're that young, you don't like like you're not paying attention. Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. it's not clicking yeah. like that for real. Exactly. Like, how you fail? Yeah. So then What's look, the so then look, let's let's fast forward. Let's way fast forward. Cause look, talking about are those your two off rip? No, that's actually the first one. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. I bought uh, that. That was the second year I did it. Sure. <laughs> that was the okay, second year bro, I did. All right. <laughs> but, hey, Damn. look, it's gonna be getting even funnier because the the last Valentine's Day that was back to that first person. But uh, oh my gosh, oh, god <laughs> damn, bro! Hey, All right, so look, so look, Valentine's Day coming up. You know, this is 2017. You know, me and Shorty mm. lit together, right? You know, everything yeah. supposed to be lit. Yeah, this is this and that. You know, actually, the Valentine's Day gift was us. You know, getting a spot together. I'm moving, I'm muting myself. But that wasn't where I stopped. You know, I did what I do. You know, what I'm saying, bam, okay. bam, bam, yeah, yeah, take yeah. it to the next level. This, I come home from work. I'm single. I'm like, what? You get like a text or something, or she just like she hit me with the yo, what you doing? Like when you get out of work, you know what I'm saying? We gotta like talk about something. This and that. I'm like, oh, all right, man. bet whatever, whatever, you know what Damn. I'm saying? Um, pull up to the crib and this, this, that's what it is. I'm like, bitch, we just moved in together two weeks ago. You breaking in? You breaking up with me? Like we, like you know. But can we talk about like terrible timing with like breaking up with somebody or like trying to cut it off? Oh my god, you don't. Mm-hmm. I can't even talk about that. Uh, if I talk about it, you guys gonna have to throw some beeps in. Oh, you gotta say the name. It's not even names. It's just it's like too descriptive. No, it's not even just too descriptive. I'm not shit, just so. like, oh well, can't talk about it. We can talk about it. What you scared of? What do you mean? I'm not scared of anything. Then say it. No. Why? Because niggas don't need certain information. Then don't say that information. <laughs> that is the story. Oh, what? oh my goodness! All right. Well, I guess. See, Rose, what about you? What? You have any? Situations where it was just like terrible timing with like a breakup on your end or the other person's end. No, I think we broke up pretty good. I moved here. It was already dead before we ended it. So. I feel that. I feel that. No. <laughs> I think I'm good. I would say um, for me, I'm trying to think. Ooh, nigga. Okay, so I'll never get this shit. So. I want to say, bro, I was like a fucking, I wasn't even in college anymore, bro, but it was a year after my freshman year of college, and I was taking uh, a year off, and I was still dating this young lady at the time, and, uh, you know, I was living in Indianapolis still, and she was uh, out of state. I'm not going to say where, because I don't want people trying to do the math. If you know, you know, though. Mm-hmm. Um, Just pick North Dakota or something. Okay, yeah. She, okay, so she went to North Dakota State University. <laughs> but, okay. And I went to go see her at her, at her uh, North, Dakota, North Dakota State University homecoming. homecoming. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I remember the story, actually. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, like, 
lead, mind you now, leading up to this shit, <clears throat> it was just like a lot of shit going on to where for me, any, I feel like any nigga can like sense when like shit is like slowly dying. That's why I said it was dead before. Yeah, yeah like so, yeah. I feel like like all men have that. We try to like ignore the shit, especially nah. if we really. Well, let me say this: if you really fuck with the person, like you don't want the shit to end. Yeah, that's where I was at. You're like, you're, you're gonna try to ignore that shit to try to do what you can to push shit forward. Yeah. Um, and that's where I was at. But retrospect, knew the shit was dead. Um, so as I'm going down there or over there. I already tell myself, like, yo, if, like, shit isn't better by the end of this trip, we're going to break up. How long was the trip? I was there from, like, a Wednesday to, like, a Sunday, bro. Oh, So, damn. I was there for, yeah. Like the majority of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, and, yeah, bro, I got there. Um, and, mind you, she was, you know, Working a job too, so she wasn't there at the crib a lot of times, and she was she had roommates, all female, so it's like nothing I can really relate you to. Had your pick. So I had, you had no, your pick. No, <laughs> I, nigga, I brought. I had like a. I never forget, bro. I had. Nicole like, like, "Oh, I made it to pick up that letter." That's <laughs> right. I had a little. I had a little nineteen inch TV, and I had my Xbox. So I, I, I put. I packed it in my suitcase. Was it Xbox One? This is like 2013, so 360. 360. Oh, the one wasn't even out. No, 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 not 2013, 2012. Man. The one came out in 2013, but anyway. The uh, one came out in 13. Yeah, this is not a ex- this is not a video game conversation. It's right? not, but I'm realizing once I'm again that this nigga done. has to be over 30 years old. But all right, go I ahead. Wasn't doing that, but all right, go no, ahead. Bro, I was 20. No, go I was, ahead. no, nigga, I was like fucking like 20 years old. I was skipping at 30 years. I wasn't even thinking about 2012. <laughs> all right. I was twenty sense. years old. That makes sense. Um, it nah, just I, sounds weird. I've been twenty nine in August. Because right? look, in twenty twelve, you're visiting your shorty across country in college. In twenty twelve, you know what I was doing in twenty twelve? I didn't even have my first job in twenty twelve. That's what I'm saying. Like, put, just put that into perspective. That's what I'm saying. How so are you it, not it, that it's, old? It's wild, do you? Yeah. Think? Okay. I, I feel it. I, I feel it. But I guess. Um. Yeah. But yeah, fam. I brought my Xbox. Brought my TV. She wasn't fucking with that, the fact that I brought that shit, but I was like, yo, like, what am I supposed to be doing? I don't fucking know nobody here, for real. And there, there was, like, one nigga who we went to high school with who she was trying to, like, throw me off on. So you I'm like, out with I'm like, like, bitch, I don't, I don't know this nigga. Like, the fuck? Like, this is, I don't, this is not my man's like that, for real. I talked to that nigga. Last time I talked to that nigga was last time you talked to that nigga. Yeah, what? like, fuck. Like, just because, like, y'all are cool doesn't make, mean that me and him should just be cool. I don't fuck with him like that, for real. Never fucked with him in high school like that. Like I'm not finna force it right now. Yeah, like fuck. Like, what do you want? <laughs> so uh she was mad because I brought my Xbox, I had to add to because of that shit. And she even had no fucking TV in her room, bro. So I was like, yeah, I had to bring my shit because we would have been in this room just fucking looking at each other stupid the whole time. So uh time goes on, bro. It's just like we're just arguing over stupid shit. Her car ends up breaking down, bro. And uh, mind you, I had like bought like groceries for, like for her and shit too when I was down there, like, cause I'm not no bum ass nigga. So as we go to like look at her car that's being that's uh, that was broke down and shit, mm-hmm. uh, the mechanic is talking to her about like you know what's going on with the car and shit, and the mechanic's son comes out, and nigga, tell me why like her and the mechanic's son damn near get to like flirting like right in front of my face. Really? And Hold I'm, on, wait, 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 wait. wait. Wow. Was it was they flirting or was they Jalen flirting? What the fuck does that mean? Because what is, like, what does that mean? Did he say is everything going on all right out here? And he was like, hold on, why are you talking to my girl no, like that? We had to, no, we <laughs> we had to go to the junkyard where the car had got towed to type shit. <laughs> they was Jalen flirting. Go ahead, no, finish, nigga, finish no. your story. Go ahead. Challenge. It was no, it was just like, you know when a motherfucker's feeling your girl, bro. Right, but my thing is, was she trying to like work her? No, 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 nah, bro. No, nah, it was it was like some flirty shit, bro. Gotcha. And like, that's when I get uncomfortable close just, to my girl. Make no, nah, makes because me and her was already kind of into it. Nah, so nah, at this I'm point, there. at this point, like I'm looking at her, and I'm kind of judging her, bro, because I was fresh as fuck at this fucking junkyard, mind you, bro. Like I remember what I had on to this day. I had on a fucking yellow Nike shirt, some car. Remember it's twenty, it's twenty twelve. I understand. A, a, a yellow Nike shirt, uh, some cargos. Jamal and Carter. uh no, Jabos was out of 
Come on, stop playing with me. They were Jabot cargos? No, they weren't Jabot cargos. <laughs> they were the worst. I had some Jabot uh, jean no, shorts. I didn't, there weren't no fucking Jabot cargos. Please uh, tell me they weren't khaki cargos. The they were the khaki cargos, bro. With a yellow shirt. With some Nike socks and the <laughs> Black History Month LeBron 9. Was the Nike socks yellow, too? I was busting their ass, bro. Was the Nike socks yellow, too? No, they were white. Okay, good. Yeah, that was, I was good. busting their ass, bro. Good. Do you remember what the black history about LeBron Niles look like? I ain't worried about the shoes, nigga. I'm talking about the, the shoes. Is the shoes is what matter, nigga. Bro, it's 2012, They nigga. black and gold, ain't they? They're like black, uh, and they have like uh, like African like print like on yeah. like the side and shit. It's the black history month. Yeah. Niggas, niggas didn't have them on, but you over here like flirting with a nigga with fucking <laughs> like, like all, all, all staying all staying dickies on. They were so shit. shallow. <laughs> nigga said, did you see what I got on? That makes me, that's me shallow? <laughs> yeah, maybe he had a good conversation. I'm about to say he, he did. He bro, it was so corny, <laughs> bro. Like the game was so corny, nigga. And I'm just like, I'm just sitting back. I, I might even like. Hold on, wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a piece. Uh, I'm gonna drop a dime, a gem on you. Okay, you go can ahead. sell it if you choose to. Like Nas go ahead, said. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, the game only corny if it don't work. Fam. And like, it made me realize, like, like, okay, you kind of like just like this is this might be your type. So that right there in my head was like. That kind of activated, like, I swear to God, she got me fucked up. Like, I'm about to boss up, like, after I leave here. And, like, I'm about to fuck with somebody who's so fucking cold. She won't even, like... I'm over this, man. Yeah, bro. That, and at that point, like, my mind, I'm like, I can't wait to get back to that. I would have left that day. So, I'm about to say, you leave that day? I, no, I didn't, bro. Damn. I ended up leaving that, uh, like, that Sunday morning, bro. Uh, Damn. Got on a Greyhound bus, bro, and got back to that. Because just to give the listeners the rest of the story, basically... Uh, shit was bad, bro. Uh, she disappeared during the homecoming dance, bro. Disappeared. Yeah, so she was in the fucking tent twerking on motherfuckers, bro. That's that's what my mind. That's what my mind had already told me because I didn't see her the whole party. Nigga, she disappeared. She was definitely twerking. Oh yeah, she yeah. Was more than twerking, man. I mean, I, I, yeah, she was fucking. I, I wasn't gonna say. Hey, it, man. But. I'm it sorry. It was 2012, bro. Yeah. I, my 2012 Jalen already dealt with that and transformed into bro, a whole different animal. She was in North Dakota. Animal. She could have got away with anything. He said, turn into a whole, whole different, different animal, animal. A whole different beast. In the same beast. That's it. Honestly, bro, that shit. Uh, you so you're a different animal, animal, animal in the same beast? Is that what you're telling me? I, I might be the same beast as the same body, right? Different animals, same. Different beast. animals, mind state. Yes, and the beast. The beast is, is the body. Yes. So yes, I'm a different animal, same beast. Right. That's what that means. Different animal, same beast. Who yeah. explained it? Kobe. Kobe. Rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. We have not given him a rest in peace either, by the way. He said, "How many more records do I have to break on the anniversary?" More. We did, we, we did when it broke. We did. When the, when the news broke. Oh, when the news broke, we did. But yeah. on the anniversary, I don't feel like we did. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay. Okay. You might say this on that notebook for me. Yeah. Oh. Um, but. Yeah, y'all. That's that's what happened, man. Um, welcome to the Brother Guys so podcast. Wait. Well, because you, you told that story because you was talking about niggas ending shit on a, like bad time. She ended on a bad time, bro. Like I was going through a lot, bro. Like I was not in college. I was trying to move down there with her initially, and like go to school down there so we could be close together. And she just like kind of like shitted on me. She was in college and you wasn't. Yeah, bro. She and she wanted to get fucked by all that say, North bro, Dakota dick. That's I what, what that was. Yeah. That, uh, and you just said you want you were trying to move down there with her. At North Dakota's over there. Oh, so I mean, I'm over here a little hurt. I, mean, I don't know I mean, if you know this about I mean, her. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I was trying to move over there. No, she didn't. If y'all haven't caught on, it, I was not in North Dakota, but that's either, that's either here nor there. Because I'm not trying to. Because I'm passing now. Because me and her, you're, we're, like we're cool now and shit. Like, Damn, what you said, nigga. Like at the time when it ended. Oh, dog. Found. Like that's is that what you were describing when you that, said the situation that, where you that didn't transformed me, bro? That situation, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a thousand. That shit transformed me in like how like I deal with like women and shit, bro. Like that. I feel like in a nutshell, because I can be a simp, but I'm not stupid. If that makes so sense. So if a, um, so if like you're doing something and a female's like, "Who hurt you?" That's what you think of. Or have you ever not been in that situation where a female trying to be funny and they be like, "Who hurt you?" They didn't that. I don't think I've ever got to you who hurt you shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Or at least I haven't gotten it in a long time. But you ever got that? What? Who hurt you? Like, why do you act the way you act? Yeah, this nigga just said, well, like, we wasn't just talking about the whole conversation. But, yeah, that's what, what he said. No, because they don't care about me. <laughs> so, no. no, no. Yeah, they don't even care about who hurt you. I just broke my, literally, nobody, I've, I've never gotten asked that. I've had to ask that. But I have broken down to the point that that's the only way I can ask because I broke down. 
Got you. Got and you. I broke down. That was 2018. No, you ain't have to tell us a year. Okay. <laughs> my, my shit is almost 10 years old. Now. Yeah. 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 Like, that's why. Yeah, you, you're fun. <laughs> hey, we all okay. share the day. I, I thought we were sharing. <laughs> But no, yeah. Um, Damn, now I kind of want to share. But that shit, no, oh, but, yeah, nigga. but no, that that shit, that Damn. shit, it did have me, it did have me fucked up for like uh, about like a month or two, bro. And then like I got with something nice, and then I never looked back, bro. As you should. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you. That's why that's the journey I'm on right now, honestly, bro. Like I, like whenever I do get a girl again, bro, like They're going up, she got to be the. You want the E class? Whole dist. All caps. The disc or the cold part? Everything. Got you. Two Ds. All right. The whole word. Wait, she going to be coded with KH? KH yes. and two Ds. Yes. And two Ds? Yes. Money sign for the S? Yes. Three for the E? Three for the... Oh, hey, he got a thing in his bag. Hey, <laughs> you got a good one. <laughs> you got to be fucked up. <laughs> Swear to God, you got to be fucked up. Oh, Welcome man. to episode 103 of the Brother Guys podcast. Bro. How long was that fucking intro? Like 10 minutes? Man. Damn, 20, man. nigga. For real? Yes. God damn. Fuck, they in this bitch now. <laughs> Are we 20 minutes in? Okay, now I feel like I can share my story. Go ahead, fam. Well, I'm talking about I'm your host, what? Jay Manley. I'm your host, Jay Manley. What's happening? I got Malcolm's important to the right of me. I'm Malcolm, is important. I got T Rose on the board. Please don't oh. think less of me after this story. Yeah. All right, and. My okay, everybody who's trying to picture the faces with the names. <laughs> All right, so Malcolm is the one with the very, very long locks. Very See, long locks. They usually, you know, braid it. Shout out to uh, Pretty Mia. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mia. Shout out to Mia. And I'm the vegan. Yeah. T Rose is our luxury producer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, audio engineer. <laughs> he, he's a, he's uh, slash audio engineer slash DJ. He's the Midwest Dr. Dre. Yeah. Honestly. No, he's the Midwest T Rose. Well, he's a little bit of, he's part Dr. Joy, part Harriet Tubman. Bro, I'm just T Rose, bro. With three O's. I mean, I'm the one with a nice uh moisturized beard. You feel me with the nice uh voice that uh No wait. Be... <laughs> you wanna describe Jalen? He the one that looks like he date white women. <laughs> <laughs> Him. I wasn't saying that. I don't think that. Hey. Jalen, I don't think that. This is just what the people said, I'm, bro. I'm the one with a really, really, really nice voice that sounds like it could be on like the quiet storm, like in the it's future. So Jerry yeah, that's 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 me, you feel me? Quiet storm with Jerry and Thunder? Let and uh let well not ladies, anybody who needs an ad, because we ran out of that the ad is over with for this one. So if you need an ad, you feel me? You seen, you know, our work, you see what we do, your business wants to add or whatever. Hit us up at the podcast at gmail.com. Um, but my fault, Malcolm. Go ahead and tell your story real quick. You're fried. <laughs> you want to tell them what You're just fried, happened? Right? You're fried for doing it. I'm, I'm glad we don't have cameras on right now. <laughs> okay. Malcolm is different. So, well, as my brothers were sharing their stories, and it's crazy <laughs> because I'm the bad guy in this situation. But it made me, I felt good as you all were sharing y'all stories and getting things off y'all chest. So I was like, maybe I should just share mine. And I, I can shit. and I can stand on it. Well, you shared enough. You shared enough for me to have this thought. Bet. And I'm like, maybe I can just stand on this. And yeah. So I was the one trying to end some shit at a bad time. Oh, so you you tried to end it at a bad time? Terrible time. What was like, it? Okay, so what happened? Like, why was it such a bad time? Yeah, why was it such a bad time? I guess time? I can jump back on this, but I'll let you. Because we were um, trying to figure out how we was gonna um, get an abortion. Fuck. And I was in the middle of like, I was in the middle of like finna end it, and then she hit me with the, yo, this is what's going on. And I was like, terrible time for both these things to be going on at the same time. <laughs> Say, yo, so, this ain't, uh, damn. Damn, you dropped the bomb on the bottom. It was about so, to drop. like, I'm, I mean, you know, I'm assuming the abortion happened, and then you broke the news to her. Like, at, like had it, like. Yeah, so, like, walk us if you can. I mean, well, it's a process damn near. So nah. they both happened at the same time. Oh. They were both happening at the same time. Mm. Oh, so you already told her, like, yo, I'm not really trying to. Um, Is that why they were What were you about to say? I'm, basically, like, did it go from, like, the abortion, then you broke it off with her, or, like. No, it went from me going through things myself and, like, mm -hmm. realizing that, oh, I'm, I, I need to, like, 
this needs to be dead. I need to dead this. Yeah. And then like, but before I made the decision to actually dead it, mm-hmm. that was brought on me. And it was like, damn, now I got to deal with this. And I was trying to, I was already dealing with something else and trying to deal with how to end this. Now I'm dealing with something else on top of this. Got you. So it's just like, it was all bad. All Shit. bad. Terrible few months. Damn, man. Was this at the crib? Hell no. Ah, uh, all right. Wait, you know we done lived together since like. Oh, this was the year we didn't over the past the four. one year. Yeah, we <laughs> this is the one year we didn't live together over the past four years we lived together. Yeah. So what was that? I don't remember what year that was. I do. I do. Never mind. Yeah, this was. I'm trying to think. I, yep. feel like, I feel like it's crazy. That year was wild too. <laughs> Boom. That's the first year I cried in twelve years. I'm trying to think. I. But you rose. We had a lit year that year though. At the same time, we had a little year. Yeah, that was that was a wild. Then at the little. end of the year, we started the pod. I don't I don't know if I uh, what he said. have like one of those to where like I was the one mm-hmm. that ended it on the wrong. I mean, no Virgo does. Right. I feel like this is a lot of sarcasm right now. <laughs> it was hella sarcasm. So like, yeah. It was hella sarcasm. Yeah. I feel like this is like mad sarcasm right now, but. I'm about to say, if you want to still think on yours, I can get mine out the way real quick. All right. Um. But, so, but. okay, so a time, and we're talking about again, listeners, a time where... Oh, so you going to go? Because I was just talking. That's why I was saying I was going to start. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, yeah, I think, I don't know if I was the, I don't know if I was the one that, that ended it on a bad time, because I never got told if it was a bad time, but I do know I ended it, and it was just like... I think it was a bad time for me, but I don't know if it was a bad time for her. I ended it because I wasn't ready. Really? Yeah, I was aware enough that I wasn't ready for a relationship. But. It takes a lot of discipline, though. So. Oh, hell yeah. Um, kudos. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I just don't feel I should get applied for something that should be common, but you know. I, feel I mean, well, it, it is something that should be common, but a lot of people don't do it, though. That's, yeah. the, that's the thing with it. I was kind of young, so I, yeah. Because, like, uh, that relationship. It was about, about the. It could have got to the same level that y'all saw with my recent one. Mm-hmm. Like it was down there on the way to that. Mm-hmm. Probably past it. Mm-hmm. But I just knew I wasn't ready to do all that at that time. So I'm like, a pussy. Nigga, I'd rather do that than to lead her all thinking some shit is sweet when it's not. You right. So if I'm a pussy for that, fuck it. I'm talking about you pussy for not being ready. Oh, nigga, how what? Should have got ready, nigga. That's what I tell these hoes. It don't happen like that. And that's why, you know what? I'm a, I was about to say, that's why you failed. But all right, I'm going to be going along. Wow. Yeah. Niggas, wow. What's up? <laughs> I failed because you pushed me. I'm pussy. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Um. All right. So with me, situation where I was the reason or like I ended it like bad timing, basically. Um. Let me think, man. Oh, okay. So, it was this shorty, bro, who, like, I worked with. And she she had a crush on me, but, like, <clears throat> I never wanted to, like, really, like, take it there. Um, Just because I knew that, like, it, it would never you know, be more than just a physical situation. Um, but she would always be on that. Um, she ended up leaving the job that I was at at the time. And uh, we, you know, remained friends. And, then, you know, she ended up getting to like a fucked up situation with her, with the person she was, she was with at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I ended up going to see her at the hospital and shit. Oh, and then, wait, whoa. Yeah, like some yeah, some bullshit happened. I don't want to really yeah, put too yeah, much details out, like, but yeah. some bullshit happened. Damn. Um, and, we, you know, we like I said, we remained friends and shit because we was cool. And I never really wanted to cross that barrier of friendship because mm-hmm. I knew it would be kind of awkward once if if we had sex. I knew it would be awkward. Right. Um, right. But I ended up seeing her. At like fucking Tiki Bobs, bro. No, not Tiki Bobs. Uh, Taps and Dolls one night, bro. This was in 2018. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing her at Taps and Dolls, and I was very drunk. Wasn't this your wild year? 
2018, I was not shit. I'm not going to even hold you. Gotcha. I was not. I was trying to do the math. Yeah, I wasn't shit in 2018, bro. I thought that was just. But. Because every time you say 2018, I think of the video of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like bro. Drunk as fuck outside. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 2018 was some other shit for real, bro. Hey, you got to find that video. <laughs> Yeah. I, yeah, I got it. I got it on tap. You gotta have. Yeah, it. I got it on tap. I got it on tap. <laughs> that shit was the video, the like, video where I toast myself. Yeah. Bro, this thing is different. Um. <laughs> yeah, I see her at fucking the tap and dogs. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
And there was mm. a third thing. I forget the I forget the third. What was the third thing, T Rose? Shit. In a nutshell, though, like I just I don't I don't like doing all that like extra shit for real. Hmm. So, but don't you 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 don't think you would feel greater knowing that she you got she got other niggas that's trying to pursue her and you came out on top? It's okay if niggas think she's cute, but it's like don't take none of these niggas seriously because now you're trying to like you like this nigga for some reason or you're you, you know what I mean? Like it's that something that I don't have obviously. So that why you are you want mad him for. about that? Because I have, you I have everything. All right. That's that Virgo talk. I have, <laughs> All right, I have everything. You got it. And I and I believe that. And it's like if you don't believe that, then have fun. And like I, I really mean that too. Like have fun, but like don't be coming back to me. <laughs> I really mean that. Yeah, don't like don't don't be coming back to me when shit like hits the fan. <sighs> oh boy. Because like now I can't take you seriously. And I feel myself making this into a personal thing. So like, can we move on now? <laughs> no, I. Hey. I hear you. Okay. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Y'all niggas funny, man. Because <laughs> one, one, I don't like the chase. You don't like chasing? So no. I like when I say, yo, I think I'm interested in you. What's good? And she's like, hmm, that actually sounds cool. What's mm -hmm. good? Let's see. Let's find out what's good. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bet. That would be ideal. That'd be great, actually. How do, how do y'all deal with when, like, you talking to somebody who's, like, fine as fuck, and, like, they post, like, you know, a selfie or something on Twitter, but they just look good. Like, they're not, like, you know what I'm saying? They have nothing else to offer. Yeah, it's like, no, 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 no. I'm not saying they don't have anything else to offer. They they, they just look good, so it's like their, their shit's going to go up because they have a pretty-ass fucking face. Right. Um, And it's just, like, mad, like, niggas, like, on there just, like, doing the most. Um... I just ignore them. I, I just I'm not gonna front. That kind of like that's like an ego boost for me. Like I kind of be looking at it like yeah. Well, you, like that's you. Yeah, yeah. There's other niggas that's just all over. Yeah, but it's like like nigga, like I'm the one that's doing that. Um, it's me, nigga. I mean, when you realize it, you be like, oh shit, damn, that's lit. All right, I got something everybody want, but. It's only cool when she's not flirting, but like when you, you get there to you see go. her, I'm gonna get, to you get to see her like sitting like kissy faces and shit. Because I'm definitely, uh, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, <laughs> accidentally stumbled up in conversations where she. Uh, oh, you looked through the thread, bro. It was such an accident. I'm so bad at myself for that shit, bro. Damn, what but, the thread say? What it say? I mean, the thread was the fact that she gave the attention back. It wasn't. Even, it was the principle. For me, okay. it's always. How she give it? Did she just say thank you or what? Would it like? Mm -hmm. You can say thank you, but no, nah, it was thank you with emojis and continuous conversation. What emojis? Was it just like the, <laughs> was, it, was it like the, the you gotta the, get down to it? Was, it? was it like the the smiley face with the heart all over? Like oh, I feel so loved. Nah, it was, that's it was, new. It was that's new. That is new. That's new. That's the new. That emoji. is the newest yeah. one. That is the latest. With the hearts all around you. Okay. But it was the blowing kiss ones. Oh, she blew the kiss. See, that's the thing, though, bro. Those two different things mean different shits. What you mean? The, the like the blowing the, the blowing kiss emoji with the heart? Mm -hmm. That's like she she kinda wants to see what that's about if she's sending that to a nigga. She kissed her heart at the nigga. Yeah. Terrible. Like yeah. But yeah. if it's just like Bitch, that's my heart. <laughs> you kissing it at this nigga? Bruh, nigga. Yeah, yeah, when I confront it, I got in trouble for it. But so. if she if she has like the oh I feel so loved uh emoji with the hearts all over it, it's just that's just her trying to be nice. This no, is, this I don't think that's. A, I that's feel her trying to so, be nice. I don't feel like that's what nothing. Is that a, I feel so love? I think that means you in love. Depends on the context. Depends you, on the context of the situation, the conversation. Yeah, context. In that situation, that's a her trying to be nice to niggas. I don't her. know. And let's see what let's see like, what Siri say. Because you know you can search the word and the emoji pop up for what that means. You know, she'll, Siri will just type out what this what, what the emoji actually is. She'll literally say it. No, you can type. You can type words, and you, you can search I don't, for bro, emojis I don't, now. They don't really, for me personally, bro. That don't really mean shit, bro. Because I use different emojis for my meanings. I know, but we do. Like, we, wait, 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 wait. We do. But look, one thing I realize is women know what these emojis are called. They know what they mean. Uh, they know like the different hearts got different. The different color hearts got different meanings. They know this is the 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 high five and not the praising or whatever. Like, really? They know what that shit mean, dog. Why is, I'm telling you. Why is emojis a sign? They know what that shit mean. I don't think I don't think every female breaks it down to like. Nah, they be strategic with it. it. Females be strategic Women with their emojis. Strategic. I'm telling you, cause look, <laughs> look at all the times she don't use an emoji. 
And look at the one time she do. She was strategic with that. I will one. say, like, you can tell in the conversation when they don't use emojis, when they do use emojis, like what the vibes is. Exactly. And like, I hate that shit. Exactly. It's just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. And yeah. I didn't even. And the thing is, I didn't confront it on no, like, yo, what the fuck is it? Like, aggressive. No, I was like, okay, so. What you mean by this type shit? Like, oh, you said you said what you mean by this. Then they said what you talking about on Twitter. I seen it, bro. I didn't What's that shit you talking about on Twitter? I didn't want to see it, but the fact I'm here, I can't not see it now. So like, I gotta. Ask hey, you, what the fuck's up? Will, will you want to see the kissy faces, face, that nigga? What you mean by that shit? Because like, I'm having a really hard time trying to understand. You're like, look, I'm not even that type of dude. So it's like, I need you to explain this before I start jumping to conclusions. What the fuck you meant by this shit? Like, see, I'm oh, type of nigga. Shit. I'll show up in a thread. Yo! And I'll show up in the thread. <laughs> this is Malcolm. You know what's annoying? Because I think I feel like I've said this too, like with like dating and shit, and you know, whenever I do like find somebody, like I'm really not trying to like post who I'm with on social media. I can't wait to post who I'm with. Man, so happily and freely. See, I'm not doing that until like I'm at least like married. I seen what you talking about. Yeah, I'm and I and I and I'm How you feel about the postings, how I feel about eating ass. Put it like that. Oh, so you're not gonna eat somebody's ass until you get married. That's literally what I've been saying the whole time. Yeah, he said it at least three times. He did? Yes. Okay, I thought he was just fully against it. No. Okay. How you feel about posting your new shorty, whoever that may be, is how I feel about eating ass. Well, I'm confused about both of these things. And also, I want to get into something else. You just raw. So that's why I'm Go ahead, go ahead. Which one are you going to go with the eating ass or the <laughs> posting? Just leave it at that. You just raw. T-Rose. I'm not eating ass. And that's it. Okay, we can start with you. But you know that's the same booty hole from when she didn't have that ring on her finger. Five years ago. It That's is. the same booty it hole. Is. And you don't have any experience. So it's like, what if you're trash at it? Yeah, she's going to be like, damn, my husband don't even know how to eat ass. I'm going to cheat on this nigga. Yeah, bro. You don't want her cheating on a little dirty, dusty ass nigga who... Who's been eating ass for years. Yeah. You don't know how many asses he's eating. Yeah. If we break up over because I can't eat ass, then by God, that was not the right one. And it's I nigga, made a mistake. Like, I made a total yeah, mistake. Bro, you don't wanna, yeah, bro. You don't want to be in a... No, I made a mistake by choosing her, if that's the case. That's what I meant. Fuck you have her. a point, but still... You know, you know they like to try to throw it back on niggas. Like, well, that, 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 girl, like imagine the imagine the talk to her and her girlfriends. Girl, I can't believe I let this nigga marry me. This nigga ain't gonna make like ass. Like, you don't want to be that nigga, bro. Nigga, if everything else is okay, and that's the only one problem, because I know everything else is okay. So if that's the only problem, that which it will be. But hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, <laughs> what, what, what? You can't say this is you a funny can't, right But now. you can't, you can't, that. you can't diminish it like that though, because you belittling that problem. Because you're looking at it as, oh, I ate your ass badly? No, but that's not what it is. What it is is that she has a sexual desire that she'll never get pleased for the rest of her life. Like I said, if it's my wife, then we're going to talk it out. That's why we have to understand each other at that point. And at that point, I can only get better if I keep trying. So... But if she does, like I said, if she does leave me at the point, so she just gets fed so up. It's like, a, so if it's like the she ain't gonna marry you till you eat her ass, y'all never gonna get married. Mm. Cause, Cause what if she, she don't want to get into? Yeah, she's she put the same thing on like you. She don't want to have that. You got to drive the whip. You feel me? She don't want that death do us part with a nigga who don't know how to eat ass. Cause like I said, that's one of her top sexual desires. Okay, so I'm, and that is the thing, bro. A lot of women love that. What? You are correct. I'm, I'm starting to discover this more. Yeah. Um, I've been telling this nigga for years. Put you that, 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 <laughs> it, 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 it put, hey, hey, fam, it, it, it puts you above like niggas, bro. Like, wait, so hold on, wait, that, wait. That, that's why I don't like competing with niggas because I know what I provide. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like the audacity for you to. Like, bitch, you don't know what I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if we literally, if, if the engagement, wedding, everything is on the line of me eating her ass that night. Then mm. oh that night oh you had an extra uh, oh, right, oh yeah. I thought you meant like it's like after the reception no 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 I thought you meant like <laughs> like T Rose came to propose and she's like I would everything's great it's just that you've never ate my ass and I'm not finna get into yeah, no marriage like, without knowing how your ass eat this stopping between us planning a fucking wedding date and us splitting our ways <laughs> yeah then you, you gonna give it a try you gonna give it a test run. She got 90 seconds. <laughs> that 90 seconds, if I can't, if you the coach me, if you're not like, all right, man, I'm with this. If like, she's not like, okay, then you got potential. Let's work with this here. That's I think it. we got him. Look, he's open. Fuck it. He's open. Fuck it. He's open now. All it's right. it's going to take the right person, bro. I'm already knowing. Yeah, I'm, it's already gonna, I'm not disagree with that. It's going to take the I'm right person. I'm, 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 saying, I hope I find I'm, right saying, I'm saying before marriage. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hold on. It's going to happen. 
And when it happens, fam, just know that <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be a no judgment zone. It's gonna you're gonna bucket you with a pause. I don't believe that, but all right. Like it's okay. gonna be. If I'm there, I cannot guarantee it's a no judgment zone. Nigga, I don't believe that regardless whether you're there or not. I'm not gonna judge, bro. I don't believe yeah, that. I'm not gonna judge. I don't know how not to judge. Nigga, I get judged every. I, I don't either on the low. Yeah, I don't think topic. anyone does, but niggas just don't like don't. that label. You, what are you about to ask me? Fucking on the first date. What about it? No, you. We're gonna get into the post. I did it. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. So explain. We explain. can talk about that too after. That's what I wanted to get into. Okay. So explain. What's your, what's your reasoning? You gonna, you gonna tell me you value other niggas' opinions now and what other people got to say now again? Not even that, bro. Not even that at all, fam. It's just I've done that and shit has been disasters, disastrous more recently. But uh, I, I just really want to be sure before I like I post that along with like the shit that I like I care about as far as like my brand and shit like that too, bro. I just want to understand so um. What is the problem with you posting someone and then y'all relationship not working out? Like, what is the problem with that? I'm tired of doing it, honestly. I've done it so many times. Okay. It's just like... So you're just feeling like you're going to try something new yeah, with this? Yeah, I, I just I don't really want the internet in my business to come around. Like, I want to really enjoy that person and then enjoy Your business me. is on the internet. Your business lives my, on the my, internet. My, my romantic business. Thanks for getting all specific. I mean, I got yeah. I mean, you got some specifics, so I just had yeah. to yeah. You tried to, you tried. To I was just gonna show him even to it. Like, you nigga, to your business it. lives on the internet. Like, what do you want from that? And yeah. So like, I just, Malcolm is the shade room, by the way. In case I didn't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to have my relationship business on the internet. So you're saying like, you're not proud of who you're gonna date next? No, I'm just not kidding. Even that. Was, not even that. No, not even that. Not even that. I'm gonna be more than proud, but. I just want to make sure it's a wife. You're going to be so proud that it's your treasure that you're going to hold her away Facts. from the people. Facts. And I feel like she's going to do the same thing. Honestly. You're going to hide your queen from the world. No, you're going to hide the world from your queen, my bad. Until I get married. I feel it. Yeah. Fucking on the first date, though. What, what, what are we, where are we getting at with that? What's the... Um... I'm sorry. Think about that. No, just know at the shorty that... I want that I see in my head that I hope she is listening to us. If she talk to me and we get in a conversation, Ooh, and hey, D, D, hey, just text me who it is and I got you. <laughs> hey, don't sleep. Remember who you talking to now? You got a valid point. All right, well, yeah, I, I got you. But she don't even know I exist. Well, she do know I exist. Oh, hey, hey, time out. She knows that you exist, bro. Don't ever say that. You remember what podcast you on? The best one in the world. Very valid point. Very valid point. All I right. Well, listen to us, bro. Well, yeah. Hey, look. If she, hey, if everything goes smooth and let's say we get a good 365 under our belt, I might become an ass eating nigga. I don't know. Cause what her ass is fat. It only takes a year for you to eat ass. I said with her. I said with her. I ain't say anybody else. Why only a year? Why not the first night? Hey, it's so funny. I've had more fun eating smaller asses than bigger ones, but. She like fit though. It's still fun. She healthy. When I say healthy, I mean she just. Yeah. I'm already on. Yep. All right. So yeah. If I'm just she, talking about. Um, bro. I'll text her. I might not even say I was about to say. <laughs> oh man, it's nothing wrong with eating ass on the first. night. Nothing wrong with eating ass on the what? <laughs> on the first night. On the first. Yes, it is. On the first night. Yes. You can't just be out here eating everybody ass. Women don't like that. Not. Nigga. Shit. Tell me what I heard. He said shit. <laughs> Let me, let, me, let me tell you like this. <laughs> no, nigga. Let me tell you. Y'all in two like different it. brackets. Y'all yeah. gotta think. They like it, bro. Y'all in two different, two different age brackets. This nigga, Jalen. So wait, let's talk about this. So you, so there's nothing wrong with eating ass on the first link, but I can't send you a dick pic as the first DM? Because that's no different. I'll say this, bro. It's been situations for me, bro, to where like I try to not even like talk about sex when I'm talking with a like, with shorty. And, like, she'll be the one to, like, just, like, drop some titty pictures. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's how it works. I mean, like, that's not... That's not I'm not saying that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's <laughs> the most <laughs> ideal situation yeah. where you don't have to bring it up. And they just, yeah, you know. yeah. And, like, I purposely don't bring it up. But it's not even about the sex. It's the attention grabbing. That's, that's your hook. The hook, line, and sinker. You know, I mean, like, like... Yeah. That I, like, I, like, I'll, I'll send you don't enough, know about a thesis statement? I'll send enough video. <laughs> you don't know about it. But, like, I'll send enough video after I get them titty pics so I can kind of, like, know what time it is. No, and that's what I'm. You you mean just off the rip, sending? I mean, you eating ass off the rip. 
She don't know that's gonna happen though. I usually that's like my. She favorite. don't know the dick pic coming either. But no, but, but the ass eating is more of a surprise though. It's like ah, I got you. Nigga, the dick pic is more surprising if you think. About I don't know, no, 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 because she's not expecting. Because you cooking dinner with your grandma and a dick picture pops up on your phone. That's no. way more surprising than me having sex with someone no. and them eating my ass. No, 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 no. Because you gotta think when you're having sex. Nigga said no. You gotta, you gotta think in a good way, in a good way for it to be in your favor. That's where I'm getting at because that could rip her the wrong way. What if her grandma sees that sees dick all on the fucking phone? What if she don't like her ass eating? Right. The conversation's gonna be had, but it's gonna be like on some subtle shit. So it's not gonna be like direct. But look, my observations of you before I send a dick pic have already been observed too. I like to, me personally, I like to read the room before or you know, read the temperature of the situation before I start sending naked pictures of myself exposed or videos that's just me but with the perfectly like, fine with just but munching with, on a poop shoot though first night yeah like if it's if i know she likes that <laughs> that's wild if i if, like if wild i know if, fuck, I'm, right? if i know if i know that that's something that she's in, that she enjoys yeah that is wild dude. yes damn yes i'm not eating that it's not there it's not there yeah no I'm not. you gotta think yeah i think though too like where you are where you guys are at what you mean? Where we're as far at? As like, what I'm thinking about that now? I'm like, saying as far as like conversation and shit too. Like how long y'all been talking? I'm not, I'm not meeting somebody on Twitter, and then like seeing them a week later and eating their ass. Okay, so that's, you're talking that's, that's about you're talking about someone you've had a rapport with for a yeah, while. Yeah, that y'all are now finally linking up. Yes. Okay, that's yes. okay. That's, that's completely different. different. Yeah, that's, yeah. Completely that's different. totally different. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm I was just, thinking. Yeah. I was with Malcolm. Yeah, I'm not just out here just like... I'm just, like, yeah. what? He's like, bro, how... Everybody, do don't, everybody don't get that. I'm like, so if a coach don't get to be a right at, he just eat ass yeah, tonight? No, I'm like, whoa, no, you're no, wild. Like, got four no, red apples, nigga. No, no, <laughs> yeah, literally. You already have. I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> and he take away two. How many he got left? But yeah. Okay, but look, this is... All right, so we can circle the same conversation pretty much. So fuck it on the first night. Mm-hmm. What's the... um? Explain that to me, because I believe I don't know if you said it, but I know you were around the Twitter sphere conversation of that when it was going on a few days ago. Oh, and like, someone said, um, it, "This may be you." So if this is you, stop me like in the middle of it. But somebody was like, "Not having sex on the first day doesn't guarantee your relationship." That wasn't me that said that, but I agreed to that. Yes, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. But you think that's what it's about with people not? Oh, it's on not. The first night? It's not. That's in. Uh, the the young lady followed up saying basically um it's all about how you like manage it so like on some just like you just gotta know what it is really what what do you mean manage it know what the it situation, is situation like between the two parties having sex so like if if it really is that then it'll be that if it's not then you can't really be fucked up about it but I'm saying like that's not why people don't have sex on the first night. Well, a lot of people don't have sex on the first night because they don't want to get their feelings attached or they don't want to fucking, uh, like, some, like, like morals and shit like that that a lot of people have, too, with just giving themselves out there like that because they, like, they feel like they don't know the person well enough to give them them themselves like that because you got to think sex is a huge form of trust. It's a huge risk. That, too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think it's a huge form of trust because... I feel like trust and risk is the same thing in a way. I feel like we're kind of saying the same thing. It's definitely trust. No, I think I you're it. saying it as in you have to trust the person you're having sex with, but I'm. But even if you do trust the person you have sex with, it's still a risk. Because of pregnancy and no, because you can trust somebody. It don't mean an alliance to you just because you trust them. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean the trust and the I'm risk saying like trusting there. like each other. I don't know, bro, and I might. I know, like people are not gonna like this statement, but I'm so far removed from being able to trust a woman that I can't even really comprehend what you're saying right now. Really? Yeah. You feel like it's just been the people you've dealt with versus the woman race, the woman race, the, the woman, woman uh, race. the woman. The, the, I'm, I'm fucked up. Well, it's I'm just the way. It's just the way. I, it's just what I um, observe. Women in behavior. general, goddamn. It's just what I observe from their behavior. Okay. Yeah, and like, not saying oh I trust men. I trust men. This and that. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not out here looking for men. Yeah. That's just why I'm saying it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. That's funny as fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Not just, like, I can feel that, but it's like I try not to because in the same token, that's how like a lot of women be like acting like on the internet scarred about men because they've just been dealing with a bunch of H ass niggas, so they try to pin 
all the issues that they've dealt with with ancient ass niggas on all men. Yeah, no, no, no. I definitely understand that. Uh, yeah. Like a lot of the problems I've dealt with have been with because of who I was dealing with, mm-hmm. and also who I was at the time. Yeah. But not those are not the only uh, situations or factors that go into me not trusting them. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So T Rose, make sure you send me that Twitter or whoever it is, bro, and I'll make sure I reach out. You gonna reach out? <laughs> I, I think I can do that. You sure? I, sure. I, I promise. I, I can, bro, just... I don't know, bro. Me, I'll... me, me saying, hey, my nigga, trying to talk to you. Just, just know her birthday coming up. I got it. I damn near, I, I damn near wouldn't cuff somebody I fucked on the first date. You wouldn't? Damn near not. No. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Why? Because what if you went on a date last night? What you mean? What if you went on it? Oh, talk about shorty. Yeah. She wouldn't vibe with that nigga like she was vibing. I'm about to say, clearly. You're different. <laughs> How do I know that? Because she, she told me. Now Maybe I'm believing this bitch. She, she, she's weighing her options. And she's like, all right, I'm on this date. Let's see what this nigga talking about. Let me ask this. So are you just like... Are are, are you giving her the same exclusive, exclusivity? I always do. I never ask for anything I, mm. don't ex- I can't do for someone else. Exactly. Unless I... Like if somebody was like, hey, give me a million dollars. You know, I... Yeah. There's no way yeah, I how, can bro. do yeah. that, you know. How, bro? Yeah. If I can do something, I'm I'm going to expect you to do those same things. Like I'm never going to expect something from somebody that I'm not willing to do for them. Which is why I'll be so appalled when people ask me for certain things. I'm be like, "No, I'm not doing this for you because I would never ask you to do this for me." And the reason why I would never ask you to do this for me is because I would never do it for you. Got you. Got you. Okay. That is the way to look at it. How far are we in? That's why I felt little baby when he was yeah, like, was. uh, take me back if I was you and I did what you did, I probably would. I probably would. <laughs> you know? Got you. Got you. I was like, ooh, I felt that. That's why I ended it when I ended it. About the shit we talked about earlier. <clears throat> We're an hour in and we have not touched the topic yet. I mean, we ain't touched no topics? We have no. not touched a note, a single topic, nothing. This has all been straight from the heart. <laughs> Man. Appreciate y'all. I'm Appreciate trying to get good episode. I'm trying to get the end of that water balloon on my tongue on Valentine's Day. Wait, wow, this nigga's gross. I'm trying to eat some ass in case y'all didn't catch that. Um, <laughs> all right, so where, where are we starting with first? Man? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bezos stops uh, sips on the CEO of Amazon. You want to start with this? Um, I'm about to say something racist. Cracker. <laughs> no, it's gonna be worse than that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Go ahead, Jay Manley. Go ahead. I don't really have anything to really uh, touch on that for real, bro. It's just, it's wow. I want, I'm interested in another reason and why he's stepping down. Do you some, think we will know the reason? I'm about to say, we not going to know. <laughs> he, he's There's got to be something, bro. Like Amazon? And he's worth all that fucking he money? He stepped down to be, to be the chairman. He stepped down to Oh, step there's got to be like some, oh, okay. It's got to be some, it's got to be some rich people. is the chairman. No, no, he went. He went something higher. Somebody else is gonna take over. It's gotta be some uh, rich people shit. He I'm stepped saying. down to go up. <laughs> Pretty much, wow. that nigga left that and gave. And somebody else is about to get that, and he's about to go up. Or some bullshit is going on behind the scenes, and they covering it up. Either way, probably both. Probably, I'm about to say either way. Yeah. Got you. Wow. Um. um that shit crazy. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about that. I don't really care. Fuck Jeff. I was gonna say I don't really care. Because it's Black History Month. So. Um, let well, me I guess start. we can get all the Pecker Woods out the way real quick then. Um, uh, RP uh, Screech. Yeah, man. Uh, Say by the bill. But apparently he was racist, though, so it's like. Okay. Fuck him. It's like, damn. Like, I don't like. I, 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 I Nobody would like found to, this out until he died, though. I would like to. They no, not, no, 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 no. I was, I was jogging my memory. We were talking about earlier, T Rose. Mm-hmm. And I definitely remember seeing some shit on TV about him, like, saying the N word, oh. the hard ER. When I was like younger, and it was, I was just. How do y'all feel about? I that, remember man? being disappointed about it because I fucked with that character from that show. But how do y'all feel about that though? The hard R or white people saying nigger and not being racist. Both. No, or, neither one of those things about people dying and people bringing up all their negative shit after they die. Oh, just because you died don't mean you wasn't a not shit person. Yes, I'm always with the firm energy, with the firm yeah. belief of I'm gonna keep the same energy no matter what. If I didn't fuck with you when you was here, I'm not gonna automatically fuck with you just because you died. Mm. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just in general. Anybody. Dies. Well, you know me. I'm hosting everybody to the same real nigga standard. So if you was a bitch ass nigga, then like, if niggas start trying to praise you like you wasn't a bitch ass nigga, I'm gonna be like, 
Nobody tried to praise him. They just said R.I.P. That's what I'm saying. Nobody <laughs> praised him or nothing. Everybody just said R.I.P. And then, then here comes this. No, well, it was a lot of people that were like, who was praising? trying to be like, uh, trying to give it like a like a sad vibe. Like niggas are sad about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and rest in peace is like a. It's a farewell appraisal for your next yeah, life. Like, yeah. rest in peace over there. Like, I hope you do well. Like, yeah. we don't really give a fuck about y'all next life if you want shit in this life. Right. Yeah, cancer too. Oh, yeah, cancer? Yeah. Stage Lung four. cancer? Stage four. I believe so. Uh, Everybody yeah. on stage four. Yeah, I believe so. So, I don't, Fuck I don't cancer. Know. 44 years. Like I said, I would like to think that he, you know, changed his life around uh, towards the end of his life and wasn't on that bullshit no more, but who knows. Um... <laughs> I used to watch that shit every morning before I go to school. Fact, same here. Every fucking morning. <clears throat> Follow the niggas from middle school all the way till they graduated. Um, let's see. But where we at with it now? I never watched that show. You ain't never seen Say by the Bell? I don't think so. Zach, Slater, Kelly, Jesse? Nope. I know Screech, Slater by the Lisa. Bell characters because of Jid. You remember we talked about this? I guess so, huh? That was my niggas. IMPD officer assaults woman in August of 2020. You didn't address that with enough. Uh, charges her with assault on officer. Mm-mm, you didn't address that with enough. Mm. This is one of ours. This is an Indianapolis. Well, bro, I'm, I'm reading IMPD. Bro, I'm, I'm not the one who put it in there. It's a black woman, but I'm not the one who put it in there. Jesus. Uh, this is Indianapolis police. This is from... <laughs> this is from uh, the Alicia Cruz on Instagram. August 28, 2020, I was violently attacked and sexually assaulted by a 26-year-old Indianapolis Metro Police officer by the name of Officer Jones. Why? Because I saw him illegally detaining and harassing minors who were black and Mexican. He went to IEPUI. I asked him why he was detaining these children, and without hesitation, he came up to me, ripped me out of my boyfriend's arms, threw me into the truck of the children he was detaining. He punched me in the chest so hard I had a mini heart attack and my blood pressure shot through the roof. He ripped my wig off, punched me in the left chest, ripped off my shirt, got on top of me in the missionary position telling me discussing things like fight back, fight me back pretty girl and you're pretty, you, but you can't fight. And come on baby girl, fight me. I'm pretty sure it was at that point that I urinated myself a few, oh shit, okay. I don't want to read the rest of this. I was about to say, you about to read all of this? <clears throat> I didn't read fully. I just looked at these pictures. Basically, bro. I just knew there was some assault shit, but I didn't, I didn't read the de- I didn't know she got that graphic in the details. Yes, there was a woman in Indianapolis. She got assaulted by an officer named Mr. Jones, who was a bitch-ass nigga. Um, he assaulted her or whatever. Uh, didn't have his body cam on or whatever. Her daddy pulled up and everything. Um, that nigga apparently was in the, uh, used to be in, like, the fucking army and shit, so, like, the officer clearly didn't know who he was fucking with, she was, uh, I think she had some kind of, yeah, she's a, okay, so, yeah, she's a registered nurse, mm-hmm. and her, and her dad is a former lieutenant colonel in the army, or whatever, and her, uh, then the officer pulled up, like, he was, um, he was in. The, he was like tried to talk to her while she was in the hospital bed or whatever. After she got treated and shit, the same officer that assaulted her. Oh, like trying to cover his tracks up. Type I shit. don't. I, that's what it sounds yeah, like. I about to say she didn't get all that, but that's what. Yeah, you can only assume he was just basically trying to get on good terms after this point, like seeing what he did. But too little, too late for that shit. Um, IMPD is the worst niggas ever. The police is the worst niggas ever. Um. Yeah, so fuck him, fuck Mr. Jones. We ain't even heard shit on uh, Mr. Reed, have we? On his case. Yeah, they uh, yeah they not fucking with us. Of course not. Yeah, yeah. not right. So yeah, I am PD. Y'all niggas is ass. ass. But ain't nothing. But ain't nothing new. So I'm sorry. <clears throat> to just switch the topic, but this just came across my timeline. We never found out why them why why that girl was getting a pussy eight during the Jay Z interview. Nigga, they was in a strip club. And they were lesbians, clearly. She's wearing a pussy ate. It's a wild ass way to I'm about to say that just that. happens at the strip club if you're a lesbian, you just get your pussy ate? I mean During a Jay Z interview? Two dancers. They could they didn't have nigga, another did you see who the interview was with? It was fucking Uncle Luke, nigga. That is normal. That is light work. <laughs> 
Them niggas got justice. Justice, shot. justice for on. Alicia Cruz, though, man. That shit's fucked up. Yeah, justice. For oh, that's who the that's who it happened to. Yes, Alicia yeah. Cruz. I thought that was the person who's reporting on it. No, no, it happened to her. Oh damn. Yeah. Um, that's fucked up. So yeah, Officer Jones, you a bitch and a half without that badge. He a bitch with it. He a bitch uh, with it. Shout out to Dr. Gladys Mae West, who invented uh, what we know as the GPS system of today in 1986. Black History Month fact. Um, Gladys Mae West invented GPS for all you lost niggas. Do we get announced as the days? Damn, bro, I'm not even trying. Damn, nigga, what are you doing? I don't, do bro, I don't, I'm not really a weekend fan, so I'm not. Nigga, you not even trying on the topics. God damn. It's, bro. I, yeah, do we get your host really? is trash tonight, guys. What is he doing? Y'all hear this? <laughs> Nigga, I'm not the one who fucking put the shit in about the fucking lady who got attacked by IMPD. So I didn't, I didn't know the fucking legit details. And I'm sorry, I'm not a The Weeknd fan. You can, you want to talk about The Weeknd? I'm about to say, so let somebody else lead it then. If yeah, you go, ahead, you got, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. You got Any it. other time you get it? To, uh, well, yeah, well, anyway, well, that's fucking April though. Yeah, so what the I fuck? Just, I just, I've, he, he gives me fake Michael Jackson vibes, bro. That's always been my thing on The Weeknd for real. Fake Michael, Michael Jackson vibes. Yes. Hmm. Fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know. Like, what the fuck are you listen talking to about? How he, listen to how he sings, bro. I, I've been listening to him since 2011. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah. What are you talking about? He doesn't sound like Michael Jackson either? He has points. He has times. There's a couple artists that can have, that can get those notes sometimes. For him, for, for him, it just it's a little bit too often, bro. And I'm just... Yeah, there's no... I don't see a world where that's ever a bad thing. Right. Like, that what nigga, are you saying here, nigga? A nigga sings like Michael you Jackson sometimes, okay, so and you're saying that makes you not out, like so him. There, there's a nigga who sounds just like Jay Z mm -hmm. from when Reasonable Doubt came out, like j like eerily just like Jay Z, voice and everything. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna be some like okay, like you can rap, nigga, but like there's actually this nigga who's hard as fuck. He'll be going around no, Facebook viral. He sounds exactly like Jay Z. I know who you're talking about, and it's like it sounds good, but it's like it's not gonna keep me like interested. I've already heard this. I had the same issue with Troy Ave. When he first came out. When Troy Ave first came out. I would never listen to a nigga yeah. when, when Troy Ave, before, I'm talking about before the Joy Badass shit, all that. When Troy Ave first came out, bro, it was like a new feeling because everybody was trying to compare him to 50. But it was like. I don't know nothing about 50, that. 50 already did that, though. Like he, like, he was trying hard to, like, mimic the whole, like, 50, like, get rich, die trying shit. Like, trying hard. But it was like, nigga, we've already. Have had this. I think that's where he failed. He How you know trying. he just wasn't being himself though? And I was gonna say that's another thing. Because that's what they are just being their self. They just so happen to. If a nigga like grew up listening to Fifty every day of his life and he started making music, niggas probably gonna start sounding like Fifty at some point. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta like have your own individuality with the shit though. Bro. But you talking about when he first came out? Nigga just came I'm about out. Say he just got yeah, here. He, Let he, him warm he, up. He came out, bro, and then he started. He kept on putting shit out, bro, sounding like a baby Fifty Cent. It's like it wouldn't stop. Eventually, the sound matures. I don't know. I just kind of disagree with you on the whole Michael Jackson, The Weeknd. I mean, a lot of people don't agree with me with that, so I, I'm fine with that. That's just it. Don't make sense, but all right. Yeah, because like cook. from the from the production to the to the to the content I'm, I'm to making, the I'm based off his singing. I'm not talking about the production and like the sound. Of course, it's a different sound. It's not going to be the so exact you can't same. get it's a different sound. sound. It's a different content. It's a different. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm the only time where I could compare them. I don't know. I guess the only time I've ever seen a comparison and then was when The Weeknd redid Dirty Diana. Dirty Diana. That was the only time I seen it. And um, a little bit on FML with Kanye. That's the only two times I've heard him and even, think he sound like, like Mike. Like even when the, like what was it, House of Balloons shit came out? Fire. Like, it wasn't trash, but it's like, it didn't, it didn't move me like it moved everybody else. Shit. Interesting. It didn't move me, it didn't move me like everybody crazy. else. Fuck. And I want to say too, like, I figured you like The Weeknd. Yeah. Especially because it's content. It's, mm, that's crazy. That nigga yeah. said he what you want, I'm what you need. Fuck. <laughs> you said that earlier when you was ranting about, <laughs> about Charlie. <laughs> that's a bar. Nigga. He didn't speak to you. That's crazy. That me. shit didn't hit. But <laughs> when that nigga said I'm on that shit you can't smell, that's where he lost me. I'm on that shit you can't smell. He said, I'm on that shit you can't smell, baby. I said, whoa. Oh, yeah. I said, what can you not smell? I started Googling shit. What you think? I'm like, okay, so heroin doesn't have a smell. Uh, lean. He was talking about lean. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Lean doesn't really have a smell either. And I was like, pills even kind of got a smell when you open the bottle. But maybe he talking about that. I was like, either way, I'm not fucking with none of the shit that he don't got a smell. Like, regardless. So, <laughs> he had my nigga Adam Sandler fucked up in uncut gems, too. Bro. 
You said what? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, had himself and fucked up in that. And cut, so you mad at this nigga for a fictional character? <laughs> no, he played himself. I mean, but you still mad for a script? <laughs> did Adam write that? <laughs> he probably did. But still. So you mad at Adam because Adam got fucked up by this nigga that he wrote? <laughs> no, I'm mad at him for fucking his bitch or trying to fuck his bitch in the bathroom. He definitely he fucked, definitely his, fucked his bitch. <laughs> you don't listen to Weekend, so you wouldn't know. <laughs> From what they showed in the movie. Let me tell you. What they showed in the movie, she was about to fuck him and then Adam busted in. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Oh, like, at that point, that you never, already fucked my bitch. That's never that happened time. to me before, bro, but like I felt... I felt Adam so much, like damn, bro. Like, I, like that's fucking. No, nah, that was thing. you and uh, Buddy Fart with the mechanic. That's how that that, <laughs> that situation is there. That wasn't me, cause like that's why he asked, was it flirting or was it Jalen flirting? That's why he asked that. <laughs> yeah, but hey, if I was Adam, in my mind, you already fucked my bitch. So yeah, if I bust in in the bathroom and I see y'all in the stall together, like, oh, I'm never he, busting and, in and the he's, bathroom. And he's snorting, he's snorting, <laughs> he's snorting coke off your titty. I'm painting the whole ba- bathroom red, bro. I'm just gonna black out and just. You must not have seen the videos. We can't always do murder. <laughs> oh God! You must not have seen That's the funny. videos. <laughs> but hey, I feel you. In my mind, you already fucked my bitch. Kinda in your story too. In my mind, like my wait, bitch is already fucked. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> not in your story, cause nigga, he just walked up and said, "You got any problems?" What yeah, they, 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 that was their first interaction type shit. But, but, but no, but no, no, it. no, no, because the way Jalen said it, like if I'm if I'm going with what he said, she was flirting with a nigga in front of him. After this nigga done already took a whole trip to come see you, after that nigga already put the groceries in your shit, after I'm already trying to help you fix your car, now you said like so in my mind you already fucked my bitch, and now I don't care about the car, and I'm on the Greyhound with my groceries. Hey, that would have been wait, a lot wait, to, wait. That would have been a lot to carry. Let me ask this: Jay, Was that the first time she pulled up to that mechanic? <laughs> You try to I'm trigger the whole thing. I'm, 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 I'm not ain't gonna be triggered, no. I'm bro. being dead ass. Uh, like. I mean, yeah, I believe so. Okay. I believe so because right. like she was looking up like mechanics and shit. That don't time. mean nothing. That was the first time like meeting that, that mechanic. She now. just do that because she was covering up. For you. Y'all are fucking funny. I'm just saying. No. No, I hear you. I'm just saying. All right, bet, bet. That's yeah. crazy. You don't like able, but he about to go on tour next year. 2022. Yeah, Are we even getting concerts next year for real? I don't. I don't get people announcing tours. When that nigga is apparently. He's doing a whole world tour, and I honestly believe the world part. I don't know about North America, but I believe the world part because you know the world is over there. Them niggas, some of them niggas is opened up. This nigga said, "You know the world is over there." <laughs> that's how. That's how the general population. <laughs> nigga, think. the world over here too. That's God how the general population think. The world is over there, and we just here. <laughs> All right, what else we got to fucking talk about? <laughs> Let me find my notes. Oh um, shit. Oh, okay, okay. Have you heard that Brent and Tyler the Creator track? That song is hard. You fuck with it? That song is hard. That's crazy. I was about to shit on it. So you don't, don't like it? it? Uh-uh. Why no. not? You not you don't like Brent though, do you? I like I liked the Brent until I realized he wasn't good. What makes him not good? His singing and his content. You feel like he can't sing? <laughs> I mean I can't sing, so I can't say that. Okay. So you know he can sing better than me. <laughs> But is that saying much but when you, I but, can't sing? But you don't like the con- you don't like the type of content. So how do you like the weekend then? I was just finna say that. Yeah, I don't listen to the weekend anymore. But I, when I, when his when his music was coming out, I loved his music. Okay. Yeah, I haven't listened to. Um, I didn't. Even, I didn't finish his most recent album. After Hours. Yeah, but his first four projects, his first five, his first six projects, I love. <laughs> yeah, his first six projects, I'm I'm like this my shit. Yeah, all his chapters. Crazy. I'm like this is my shit, but um, after Beauty Behind the Madness, it's like it's whatever for me when it comes yeah. to the weekend. I like Starboy, but eh. that's I feel like that's where a lot. Of I don't people got no fall attachment off. to it. Yeah, I feel like that's where a lot of people lost their attachment to him when he dropped Starboy, and I wasn't. Well, maybe because I understood where he was going with it, but I don't know. I I, I fuck with Abel. Yeah, I just never I had that. That's I never nigga, had though. that attachment for real. That's my to nigga. Him. Through and through, that's my nigga. It just it, it never was that for like how everybody else like fucked with him heavy. I just. I, like, yeah, okay. I mean, I was sad, so like you can see how we go back back, like four flats on Cali. I wasn't even really sad. I was just like, y'all hear this beat? And I'm like, oh shit, y'all hear what he's singing? And then I heard I like, right, Juicy J. Yeah, see, I was listening then, to Frank Ocean and shit when I was going through my little sad shit. Mm. But see, I fuck with Frank Ocean over the weekend. Sorry. I mean, some people do, some people don't, and I'm not, I'm not gonna argue with neither one. But I, but like, I just crazy. I just, I don't know. Just but I think like, would, but it would be an opinionated argument. As far as like you argue with somebody if they sick Frank Ocean over the weekend, um, 
I think if they said that, it depends on how they. It depends on how they word it, because it would, then it goes back to the thing. Because the weekend has a, a extremely better discography than Frank Ocean, extremely. Oh, this is facts. Well, he's got more we... shit out than him too. But even if more, you, but mean, Frank got three projects, right? He has Channel Orange, Nostalgia, Nostalgia Ultra, and Blah. Yeah. So the, well, the weekend's does, does, first does, does, three does projects. Does the Lonnie Brew collection count? The what? I've never the heard Lonnie, that. Lonnie Brew collection. I've never heard that, and I was only gonna judge uh, like. Official shit. Brew. That came, bro. That came out before Nostalgia Ultra. It was yeah. like, a, it was like a whole bunch of fucking. Fuck. Songs. I don't think that's I official. It, but it's, I can't. It's, it's hard. It's hard to find. Is that an good. official tape or is that a blog put together thing that everybody ran with? I know what you're talking about. I like think I, Nostalgia Ultra is his first shit, but I do know what you're one. talking about. Yeah, Nostalgia Ultra was the first official release. And like, I, I was a late Frank Ocean person, so I might be wrong, but I believe that is a fan made thing, like them leaks, and everybody just yeah, ran with it. That's a fan made. You got to believe this so. time when niggas was putting a bunch of Lucy stuff. Like okay. I said, I was late okay. to Frank Ocean. Okay. If that's a fan made thing, then that's just I'm talking about some shit that. If but was, but even if, if you, if you was there, you know I'm what I'm saying. Niggas about. know, they know, yeah. But if you don't, then you missed out. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't actually. I can't throw that one in there because I've never heard that one. That might be fan made then, because it's got a lot of shit that he like wrote for people too that he's. Singing mm. on there, got so it's you. Like demos, like yeah, like uh, like I miss you by Beyonce. His version is on there. Uh huh. Okay. Because he wrote that. It might it might be a fan made yeah. thing because I don't think he would put that shit. On. Well, even if you want to shorten the weekend's discography to the same length as Frank Ocean's, it's you still better. First. It still comes out on top. I'm about to say you could you could do the first. So that's just that's just where my disagreement will come. If it's like a quality of music discography conversation, now if you're talking about ability, I gotta go with Frank because that nigga like you see the. That shit that nigga wrote. You see that shit? Like, y'all, shit? Y'all be hearing it? And as a live performer, y'all be hearing Frank it? is definitely better than The Weeknd. Well, Weeknd knows how to perform. Uh, Frank knows how to actually like Same. sing. Same. Live. Yeah. It took The Weeknd years to get that shit down. Mm-hmm. If you go back and watch that nigga in 2012, he was missing all kinds of notes. Watch that nigga now, he's definitely gotten way better. Clean as fuck. Frank been hitting that shit since he came out. Frank been clean with the shit. I don't think I've ever seen a Frank Ocean performance except for the Forrest Gump one. That everybody knows. I think that's the VMAs. I with think that's the, the only Frank the American Headband. Yep, I think that's the only Frank performance I've ever seen. But I've seen some other ones. I've seen because I used to watch. Concert I will say too. this: that nigga might not have been able to perform, but he's always been a fantastic live singer. The weekend. That's why. That's what I'm saying. Like he can, he can perform. Yeah. He can't. No, I'm saying he's been a lot. He's been a great live singer. But when you're trying to perform and sing, it's, that's where. I, yeah. That's where you know. Yep. Yeah. Because hey, niggas don't know that performance shit tough. <laughs> That shit is tough. Tiring. That's fuck. It's like walking and trying to, like, rap. You must say, yeah. Run on a treadmill for five minutes and try and rap or sing your favorite song, front to back. Can we take a break real quick so I can piss? All right, yeah. bet. Brother Guy's gonna take a break real quick. We'll be back. Yo, we back. Yo. We back. Yo. Hey, y'all. You know, don't don't panic. It's just your favorite podcasters here. <laughs> and people don't like us saying that. Bro. You see, people don't, don't like us like saying, saying that? that? I feel like some people probably don't like us saying that, but I don't really give a fuck. I mean, you got to have a mentality, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. The, the truth speaks for itself. Damn, but what if they don't like us saying that, but then they start saying it? Then what? <laughs> I don't really, that's I, a, I don't really care. I, I, geez, hard to you know what? I ain't even going to say it no more, but we'll, we'll let the people say it. Who? Who? We'll let you decide. What do you say? Uh, uh-huh. Wish the camera was on right now. Mm-hmm. Um, Little baby said something about that too. <laughs> I don't want to call my son to go. I leave that to the people. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Uh, somebody asked Tory Lanez in the uh, clubhouse why he shot Meg to sell you. <laughs> yes, yes. That nigga said, "Hey, bro, I, 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 why you shoot Meg, bro?" <laughs> <laughs> somebody was recording it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! What was the response? What was the answer? Everybody like, well, boo him. Why, why would you ask that? Boo him. Everybody boo him. That nigga out there Everybody was trying to get the nigga kicked out for yeah. asking that. And I'm just like, damn. So it's like, it just shows how much like this the shit will switch if a celebrity's in the room. Like, um, like niggas won't stand on. He shit got his team in there. Like, That's his team. But hold on, because you can look at it that way, but. Everybody else get mad at Vlad when he asks questions about open cases. That is a point. And that's like, and that look, is, that is a point. And somebody was recording that, and there was all them people in that room. You, mm-hmm. you can't be saying that mm-hmm. shit. That shit funny as hell though. I think it's because it was really out of nowhere. 
That shit was hilarious. That shit wasn't out of nowhere. No, no, no. This shit been built. They, they won't stop talking about it. The, the, the way in it the middle of the conversation, video, though, it's like somebody just like Demir like blurted it out. It yeah, wasn't bro, like, like it was context of, of like nowhere. a one on one conversation. <laughs> it was like niggas was talking, and then one nigga just got real close to his phone and was like, and asked him that shit type shit to talk over everybody else. <laughs> Why you shoot me, bro? Yeah, in the middle of like us, bro, bro, niggas like say, already talking. Niggas having a whole different conversation. Yeah, just out of nowhere. Yeah. Look, later on in the pod, I'm just gonna randomly blurt out, "Why you shoot me?" <laughs> <laughs> we can be talking about anything, and that's gonna randomly be said. So brace yourself. Damn. <laughs> that's crazy. Shit. Y'all think we can get that sound bite on the board? What? That nigga asking the question. Nigga, I'm not gonna find that, <laughs> and I'm not putting that on there, man. <laughs> You know what? Boozy coming to the soundboard soon. Yes! Boozy is coming to the soundboard. Come on, man. Hey, he, hey, he'll be here. He'll be here. We gotta get the right one. I'm shitty I can't find that video when he was having girls show their toes. And he was like... And he had he had a picture of uh, Tupac in the back of the studio. And this nigga was like, Show them toes for Pac! Show them, show, show, show them toes for Pac! Boozy? <laughs> and I can't find the Instagram live video of him saying that, bro. I'm, I'm searching on YouTube like everywhere, show them bro. Toes for show them toes for Pac, bro. It was, bro. It was like when, like when quarantine like first started, he was going crazy on Instagram live oh, last like year. Early okay. Yeah, bro. This was before the suspension. For the Instagram suspension. Yes. You know they got him yes. Out I mean, it was like late February, early March type shit. When he was going live, like Boozy going live was a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, we was in the crib for sure. Gotcha. Yeah. This was pre quarantine radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, Boozy had the shit original. It was just hilarious, right? bro. Boozy had the OG uh, quarantine radio. Yo, Damn near. Yo, this, this tweet said. Uh-oh. <laughs> this just said between Meek Mill and Lil Uzi, we need to start investigating Philadelphia public schools. <laughs> And <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a funny joke, but he's probably right. They probably underfunded like Bro, a motherfucker. I saw a picture of Lil Uzi bleeding at his fucking forehead. <laughs> Bro, what is that? What that wasn't Photoshop. No, bro. No, that he, Uzi posted oh, that, bro. Shit. He tweeted that. Twenty four million. Twenty four million. Just to like take it out the wrong way, and now your forehead is bleeding and you're smiling. I mean. In his defense, look at his character. His he, character? I think it's like, ain't he like the devil? Oh, yeah, Lucifer. Yeah, like. Oh, Lucifer. Lucifer. Say it fast. Lucifer. Say little. Louis Lucifer. Louis Lucifer. Louis Lucifer. Louis Lucifer. Lucifer. Louis Lucifer. I'm saying Lil Uzi Vert still. You ain't saying it fast enough, then. Louis Lucifer. Louis Lucifer. <laughs> there you go. Louis Lucifer. <laughs> That nigga said Louisi. Lou, I heard it too. <laughs> Louisa, bro. Bro, like. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't hear Lucifer, though. You get the. I mean, I get it, but it's like, it doesn't like. Come on, man. Ask some, ask some of that drawl you were talking about. Lil, Lil Uzi Vert. Lucifer. Lil Uzi Vert. Lucifer. Lil Uzi Vert. Lucifer. Lil Uzi Vert. Nigga, just Lil say Lucifer. Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert. Wait, 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 wait. Reverse engineer it. <laughs> that is not what the fuck I meant. At. <laughs> relax, relax, relax. <laughs> this nigga really just like. <laughs> hey, you ever, hey, you ever done the conspiracy videos and they'd be like, if you if you, if you rewind, if you slow down, oh this Jay Z song that oh. he's see, bro, do you know how many in the videos I seen? He's saying like? murder, murder, kill Jesus. <laughs> That's probably one of the main ones, bro. No, Pastor, you bro, 2011 the film like was wild. Murder, murder, kill Jesus. What's talking that? Uh, I was It might have been Lucifer by Jay Z. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. It was something, bro. He literally said this, but the pastor took it and like made a whole sermon off this nigga verse, bro. Yeah, like, like you, he made you a whole still sermon. Listen, you brothers gonna get watch the throne when it comes out, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, like uh, it was like niggas like on, on, on that type of shit. It was just like cool. I, I promise you, I'm not lying, bro. You ain't never, you ain't never da- written down that uh, black <laughs> hole of YouTube back in the day. I've never seen that sermon or uh, like, bro, even, I've, I've, I've you know what I'm talking about. Life. I've seen a sermon like that live, bro, personally. You live? Yes. Yes, bro. No way. Yes, bro. You've yes. been to places. <laughs> right. Maybe, maybe like, I can ask him some of them deep questions. I've had, fam, I've, I've had, bro, my, like. you seen that shit? Uh, bro. I, I, I've been around the block. Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. If I ever have, a, like, a Netflix movie or a documentary, bro. Or, you like, gonna write a, a tell-all. Bro, my shit will be lit. McFly, man. My shit will be lit, bro. That's it. Imagine Jalen going on a book tour. A book? <laughs> uh-huh. A book tour? Yeah. 
I can't. Like, yo, I got this book called... Bro, there's stickers coming with it, and that's how he's doing all his... I got a, I got this book called This Nigga Don't, this nigga don't Even Got the Flint 13s. <laughs> That's going to be the name of your book. He don't even got the flints. He don't even <laughs> got the flints. <laughs> Hella exclamation points. Like. You don't even got the flints. By, by Jay Bentley. <laughs> Damn. You don't even got the flints. Prologue. That would be. By JJ. That would be a. Uh, like on something like me like yelling at like a female for like choosing another nigga over. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's you letting people know about your experience. This dusty ass nigga. <laughs> he wearing Balenciaga with boot cuts. <laughs> Hey, niggas that do that are gross, bro. <laughs> bro, I had Nicki Minaj fans really attack me because I, I said she let us nigga with boot cut jeans on. They gonna attack regardless, bro. Bro. And they, went, they, they really started coming to me, like, about coming at the queen. And I was like, fuck. Like, I was really, I was, it was a joke, but like. You can't joke like that. Like, why are you, me. like, he does, like, I'm, I'm not lying. No, no, no. I'm with you. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. literally, I'm literally not lying. He has a picture of him wearing he said, bro, this is a real fact. with Balenciaga's <laughs> on. Like, he wore it. But y'all know that shit's nasty. That's why y'all getting offended. Because y'all is embarrassed for her for, for, letting, for letting a nigga who looks like that be. And leave it in at that. I was told that they don't know when we nut in them. Oh my god, bro! We, we was supposed to. We had a whole game Damn. play. I just want y'all to know Damn. we had a whole game Damn. play. We did, notes. but it's like and this nigga Jalen yeah. just rubbed his hands. It's about to. I know we finna go somewhere. Damn. Somewhere Damn. sloppy. Damn. 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 Hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you That's what up. I was told. I, cause, cause look, I was having a conversation with somebody I nutted in, right? Yeah. That's, that's usually how the conversation That is hilarious as fuck to go, go, go to start That's how you found out. it out? Yeah, that's, that's, usually how, that's how you found out too? So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's that or I don't know if it's not that or I don't know if it's I'm being lied to and it is that but I'm being lied to to boost my ego. Like I'm really just like making the best of that motherfucker. Oh, is that what's implied? It's implied that you're putting in work, which is why like they can't feel it because it's already like no. It's implied that they can feel it, but that's what I'm saying. I think because I've heard that they can't feel it by somebody, and you're saying that, so I'm taking the two versus the one where she told me that she could feel it dripping, but like it boosted my ego type shit. See, I've heard that from a girl that I nutted in, and I heard that from a girl that I didn't nut in that they they can't. Feel when somebody nuts in them, it's unless it's like a, obviously, unless like a nigga like uh, uh, you so know like, what I'm saying, like froze up have on you the ever heard Somebody tell you, <laughs> you that know, they can like, feel it. You said what? Have you heard somebody tell you that they can feel it? Oh shit! Yes. Okay. Yes. And was it a boost your ego type of thing? Like, no, it was a. Um... <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, <that> so. <laughs> They're gonna be requesting more two podcasts a week after this, probably. They're gonna be requested more? This one's gonna be really good, I feel like. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So let me all right, how would tell the story? So look, me and Shorty having sex, right? Yeah. Bam. I may have said something about nothing in there, right? Mm. I feel like I feel like that is the only way that yeah. I could have gotten this response. Yeah, yeah. And the response was something about, uh, you know, children not being wanted. Okay. And then, towards the end, it was, yep, you definitely nutted in me a little bit. Because, like, I guess I did it on the pullout. Oh. Like, I let one go. I busted as I was, like, you know, leaving. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was leaving the spot. I was shooting as I was running out the door. <laughs> Long story short, I was trying to make a quick getaway. They shot fucking Johnny. We did. It. <laughs> we was, we almost made it away scot free. God damn it, you know. But like, damn. It. Yeah. Hitman's in the lane. Terrell, what about you? So like, I don't know. You, have, so I guess that's three different people I've heard about being able to feel it or not feel it. What, what about you? Your experience. I mean, I don't. That I can recall, uh, Shorty. You know, Shorty has told me that they. Can't, can't feel the nut, but okay. they also haven't told me that they can. So like I've never, I don't think I've had that conversation. Like I've never 
ass. See, I'm, I'm, and let I'm, me not say can't. I'm saying like they don't usually feel it. Okay. Like in the uh, sense of when you're having sex with somebody see, and they I, nutting you, they don't usually know they're nutting you I'm unless it was like. Point of set, like that's where they're like, oh shit, did you come in me mm. or what not? If I'm obviously not pulling out and busting on you, mm. if it walk like a duck and it talk like a duck, I don't know. You might have just stop though. If it nuts like a nut. You got a valid point, but you could have just stopped. The pussy trash. I'm going till I'm nothing, and God damn it, I haven't been in no. Sometimes I have to stop to blow my nose. <laughs> I have to stop. I have to stop myself. Like Ooh. when Shorty's right on my face, I'll be like, "Hold up, I can't." You gotta like, breathe. No, I'll be like, "Hey, be like, you better, you better take a seat while you no. can, bitch. You don't know, you know when the next time I'll be able to breathe. No. <laughs> you better take a seat while you can. Who knows the next time I'll be able to breathe out of both nostrils? You like sneezing the pussy. No, Ooh, gross. Malcolm is funny as fuck. Malcolm funny as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you never know when I'm gonna be able to do this again. You better take this chance and treasure it, bitch. Cherish it. Wait, so what is? <laughs> bitch. <laughs> uh, no, I was playing. I was gonna name drop. Bro, what is that, bro? <laughs> hold on, hold on. What are you? Uh... <laughs> um, no, Malcolm is fucking fried, fam. Um, yeah, Malcolm, this thing is fried. Yeah, bro. I, I, I feel like I've. When I've been told that it's been some like boost ego shit, I don't because like I said, it's just too many times and too many people that I've heard say that they can't feel it. For you to believe the one that said they could, yes, because I feel like it's a boost my ego thing because it was like a set during sex type of thing. It was sad during what you like doing? to make me feel good about myself. Got you. Got you. I'm not gonna say what was said. Yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was about to throw a little. I was gonna throw a few guesses out there. No, no, don't guess and because. Yeah. What she say, Jalen? What she come like? On, uh, come on, dog! Like, come on, man! Come on, come on! We were good when we were at. <laughs> she didn't want. I want to feel that nut. <laughs> feel me up. That's what she anyway. Feel me up, daddy. Feel me up. She be with the. Let me get a twenty-five on on, 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 on pump six. <laughs> she hit you with the fill me up. Bro. Hey, after she said that shit, this was me, nigga. <laughs> Nigga was letting the chopper sing in that bitch after that. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't do that. Y'all niggas are stupid. Two podcasts a week. Let us know if you're fucking with it. <laughs> I can't wait to let the chopper sing again. I'm about to start Until then, No comment I'm not even gonna speak on that right have now Have so. safe sex guys Yeah Wrap it up Trojans Until This is not a name The Trojans Let it rip Trojans That's the uh, that's, that's the one the, I recommend That's the brand He recommends yeah, That's the brand I recommend For some yeah. reason I'm drawing a complete blank On the condoms I'll be using Oh we're not using lifestyles you Use a Durex mm-hmm. or, or Durex <laughs> Mm-mm Durex. Durex. Have you ever used a flavored condom? When you open a Dur- when you open a Durex, that motherfucker's already ripped. <laughs> like, I, f- I want to say a flavored Durex condom is like the first condom I used to have sex. And that's why you a dad now. <laughs> oh no, because of that condom. No, not not at all. I'm a, I'm a dad. Cause wait, I was... wait. Did you get the grape like a nigga? Huh? Did you get the grape like a nigga? That's gross. You got the. Medicine I had like I had the variety pack. I think I used strawberry my very first time. Straw- it was strawberry. Oh, right. and she, she... Did she appreciate it? Uh, yeah. uh, I say, bro, you about to start asking questions. This nigga about to go into it. But no, for the longest though, I was using long uh, latex free condoms. <laughs> oh, I'm sick of did that. Did though. that like? Did that make her happy, or yeah, she was like, just like questioning? I was trying to figure out why I was, I was like getting my dick sucked with a condom ball, bro. The whole time I'm thinking in my head, like, bro, this is not tight, <laughs> bro. That shit is not it, is it? I don't think <laughs> I've ever done that. That was the first and only time I ever did that. We tried life, to be like careful and like after two minutes, bro, we looked at each other. And I, thought you, I thought bro. you, I thought you, uh, damn. No, no, I was under the impression you only do that with prostitutes. Well, that's a Dog. good thing. I was, I was I so mean. paranoid, bro, about everything, fam. Like, <laughs> except for the condom ball, free suck my dick. I mean, I guess it makes sense. 
It makes sense. Like if you're trying to protect yourself, it doesn't make sense, bro. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I just bro. never. I just. I didn't never. I, just, I didn't about really that. know shit, bro. I was just trying to be grown and be safe. Right. That's what I'm saying. Just you know, trying to be a little more careful. That's funny as fuck, though, bro. But like we was like, this ain't it. That is funny. Yeah, that's funny <laughs> as fuck. Like, but it, it do be funny though when she uh when she top you up after you take the condom off though, and then she be complaining about the about the uh, the taste. <laughs> <it. laughs> Taste. Got I'm like, yo, I can literally, I it. couldn't care less right now. Like, keep sucking <laughs> it, bitch. I don't care about you that. Gotta, you I'm gotta suck it more. That's all. Like, just yeah. suck it some more. Suck it off, and then it'll start tasting suck different. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, bitch, you ain't sucking it enough. That's what's the problem. Is. <laughs> oh, shit. Throw some, uh, throw, just do, do the fruit roll up again. You liked it last time, bitch. Come on. The fruit roll up. That shit. Oh, y'all never fucked the fruit roll up? Hey. Yeah, nigga, that's why I'm a great. Hey. Hold up, though. But, like, I didn't, even, I didn't fuck with it. I, okay, I've tried it with somebody who wasn't good at sucking dick. Uh, I, haven't, I, I haven't gotten to experience it with somebody who was a throat goat. I did. But, to my. Oh, want, let me say this. To the throat goat that I, I have experienced, the baby. I don't think that that's even in her repertoire because she's so nice with it. So she's like a classy goat. Yeah, like she's fruit she's goat. so nice with it. She don't really even go to the the uh, fruit roll up shit. Oh well, she didn't like. Wait, was this like just a one time thing, or was this like a? Were y'all like a? No right? comment. I don't want to get okay, specific. Okay, all right. Well, got you. You can't let you come on, T Rose. I was trying to figure out based off of like the nature of this certain session. Was put it like, like this. A, put it like this. It's like. I, I, I know what's up enough to say that, and I'll leave it at that. I feel it. Okay. Hey, my you. best dick sucker is like, it's they neck and neck, literally. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said they. Neck and neck. I can't decide. They neck and neck. <laughs> That's funny as hell. No, nah, yeah, I got, I got a definite one. I d- yeah, I got a definite one. If I want to, like, okay, one, I the, indulge the in. One is close. It's close. It's, it's not far behind, but it's like the but the first one is like. See, they're hella close too, but yeah. I indulged in one, uh, way more than I indulged in another one. Okay. But them times I did indulge, I saw the potential. Yeah. In the, in the throat. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, y'all. Nah, she get edged out. Damn near, Paul. Like no pun intended. <laughs> but nah, nah I, chose one. One. I chose one. I chose one. The only up. distance between the, the first goat throat goat and the second one is the first one actually loved me. Mm. Like, other than she didn't. Other than that, she they probably when they like you, and that's why the first one is the first. That's one. why she's like, ooh, that. Because she like because yeah, when they like you, bro, it's it's a whole different ball game. You kiss. feel me? But that Chef just shows how great the one that didn't love me, but we was just on some. That's how great she was, cause she's not far behind, and that's the only thing topping her. So that just shows you. So how you feel great. like you feel like if the second place, if you if y'all liked each other, you feel like it would have been better than the first one. Yes, that love factor plays a lot. Shit, yo. <laughs> so I'm over here. He put shit together. <laughs> I'm not really. I'm not putting it together like that. It's obvious, but um. That nigga said. I forgot what I was about to say. I forgot my whole epiphany. I'm sorry. Y'all are fucking hilarious. Hey, just no way. Don't baby. When niggas say when, when, when niggas say they never uh Dope. always always miss their favorite they best dick sucker. That's a fact. They gonna always miss. They may not like. They not gonna miss everything. Obviously, but it's always gonna be a time where they gonna sit back and be like, huh. "Damn, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, hey, oh yeah, yeah, I know my question." <laughs> this is really Patreon level uh, Jesus content. Christ. I know my question though, nigga. The shorties is thinking the same thing for they, yeah, they, on God. They, they thinking the same. They got a nigga they can hit. They just thinking about right now. Okay, so look, the throat. Y'all call them throat goats. I prefer best dick sucker. But they the same person, so I didn't really have a tie. I was just going on the tie with Jalen. I don't. I really say know. I just called her champ. 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 Oh, he's called champ. I love this. Okay. What's up, champ? I love this. <laughs> she don't know it yet, but I'm gonna start like so. So we when I start calling you champ, just just know. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. I don't even talk to you. champ no more. <laughs> Y'all niggas, all right, all right. Niggas, I don't even talk to Jeff no fuck. Yo, but speaking of uh, Patreon, we hold it off. I get the business formal um, greetings with my champ. 
Joe Budden is bringing his podcast to Patreon as he joins company as head of creator equity. <laughs> Shout out to Joe Budden. Um, yeah, that's lit. Yeah. Um, Sparks. <laughs> Parks. Parks. You, didn't, you didn't do the last one, bro. You got to do the last tag. Um, Parks is me. And Joe Budden posts this as he says, I don't follow a path. I'm creating my own to leave a trail. And they used to say I was problematic. Laugh out loud. I think Joe tried to get deep. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Budden Network, head of creative equity on hashtags. Nah, that's lit, though. Shout out to them. Shout yeah. out to them. That's, that's dope. That's dope. Um, did you guys read the Patreon uh, memberships for the podcast? No. I did read. Um, he was posting them on Twitter. Yeah, I, I got to pull it up. Right he was posting them somewhere. I and I read that little. Uh, talking about it uh, when Michael was watching. Yeah, you got a $5 uh, membership level. Mm-hmm. Um, and are you going to read what each one gives? or? <laughs> nah, nah. They can go okay. to it. They're okay. a fan of the show. Five, yeah, $5, $10, and uh, 25 bucks are your options. Oh, wow. That's a big job. I'll probably be purchasing the ten dollar one. Mm-hmm. Oh, you gonna purchase? Why not? Well, hold up. Support black business. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna definitely do that. I'm I just wanted to know, so that means they're only doing one pot a week now on YouTube, mm-hmm. right? They're back to doing one pot a week. That's what that means. Or I don't know. I think that's what that means. Really? I believe so. They talked oh. about it for like three episodes, going back to one pot a week. Joe brought it up. Oh, Mark kept saying bet. But they never like really fully went into it. But after hearing that, that's what I got from it. That they're going to one pot a week again. For free. But for people who subscribe, we'll still get their two and three pods a week. That's cool. I'm fucking with it. I'll pay 10 bucks a month for that. I'll pay 10 bucks a month for that. I, and I'm, I, I've, I've been saying, bro, like, like their content is somebody who I'd pay for to, to listen to and watch. Because I'm already invested, you know? Yeah. So... Um, I fuck with the content, but um, I don't know. I guess hmm. you don't know if you pay for it though. Yeah, I don't think I'll pay. And it's not that I wouldn't pay for it because I pay for less content. Mm-hmm. I'm not rushing to pay for it. I should say that. That's fair. I'm not trying to shit on them or nothing. Like yeah. I, I no, fuck no, no, with no. it. That's, yeah, you just you want to see how it plays out and how they produce. Not even really that, cause like if I'm a fuck with you, I'm a fuck with you. Like, okay. and I'm I'm gonna see that while I'm participating. I'm gonna see it for myself, cause I can't see it if like you know if I'm not subscribed. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, I'm pretty sure. I guess I'm more focused on, I guess building our shit to that level more than like focus on somebody else's shit. Oh man, no, I feel that. I mean, I I feel like we can do it at the same time though. But it's always good to see how niggas is doing shit as well though. Cool Wait, you peers. said what? It's definitely study your peers. Basically. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I fuck with the, yeah. 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 So it's like, for me, it's like I feel like I'm in, enjoying the content. I'm also seeing how niggas is at where a level where we want to be at eventually. How they're con- you said constructing you, shit. Yes. They we, were, we talked um, about our own Patreon shit before. Yeah, yeah. That's been a discussion. We haven't, you know, done it, but it's been a discussion. Mm-hmm. So it's like to see how their shit will be received and see how it will thrive in that market. That's yeah, for me. That's important for me to like tap in and see like how shit's going. Okay, okay, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Um, not in a podcast sense, but I have the what is it? I guess foresight mm-hmm. to know that this shit is big. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I haven't observed it with podcasts like, but Daylight does that with his music. We've been doing it for years. But you can, uh, it kind of goes to what, you haven't heard the recent, most recent episode, but Maul gave an, an example of somebody who makes music. They're like, I believe they're independent, but they put their music out on their website. And he was talking about how they make more money than most people who got record deals. You're talking about uh, Rock Marciano? Uh, no, he was talking was about it, some nigga named Silver. Oh, Silver, okay. I think but I heard- Parks did say Rock does it too, okay. but and I know y'all gonna kill me, but I didn't like his album, so I don't want to use him as an example. Rock, yeah. Okay, the most recent one. What's it called? I forget what it's called. But I think the most recent one. Is, yeah, is, it, is it the album he did with Stove God? Oh, you didn't like that? Mm-mm. Really? The red album cover? Yeah, you didn't like that. It was it was harder to listen to the West Side Gun. Really? Yeah. 
And I feel like Stove was on her spitting though. I went into it, bro, with the utmost hype. Stove was on her spitting though. I was bro. excited to listen to it. I said, I said, bet it's a nigga. You really don't like that album. I'm really surprised, bro. Stove was spitting though, and, and the beats were pretty decent. I probably got four songs in and had to cut it off. I wasn't fucking with it. What What was it for you that you didn't like about it? I'm really surprised right now. I kind of felt like it was a mixture between Larry June and Westside Gun. Really? Yeah. But Stove got that majority of the rapping though, bro. I didn't like the album. So you just not like how he raps, or? Um, I see. I wish I remember specifically what okay. it was that I wasn't liking about it. But I don't know because I can't sit here and tell you I wasn't enjoying the content. I yeah. don't remember all the content. Yeah. I can't even sit here and tell you I didn't like the way he rapped. I don't even remember how he raps. I just remember listening to that album and turning it off, like not even halfway through, because I wasn't liking it. I will really listen to it though, so we can talk about it if, like, is that's a conversation we want to have? Yeah, because I think I did see you talking about it highly on Twitter. But then once I saw Stephen bigging it up on Twitter, I was like, oh, duh! I should have seen this before I listened to it. I would have known I wasn't gonna like it. <laughs> not that like, shit on his music taste. We just on different sides of the spectrum. Like completely <clears throat> when it comes to music. That's funny. So Shout out to um, Steve. Um, yes, definitely. You see that shit he's he announced? We should talk about that. Let me pull it up again. Hold up. We definitely should talk about that. Shout out to Steve, man. Let's give him some gunshots real quick, please. I'm talking about. I don't know what the gunshots are for that, my bad. We good, we good, we good. Message. We miss Laurie. <laughs> I just hit that message. Fuck COVID. Message. Um, here we go, man. Line pitch. The first music. Oh, Steve, I'm so sorry. Line pitch. The first music show to make you laugh, think, and cry. When words fail, music speaks. First episode airs February 16th, 2021. February. February, February 16, 2021. Interesting. I wonder how it's going to be uh, how it's going to be produced and where it's going to be produced. Uh, it says right here, uh, Line Pitch, the first week of show that, that where you laugh, think, and cry. Stephen and friends break down, interpret, and explore the lyrics of our favorite songs. Unpacking the topics at hand with each song while sharing How you going to do that with Lil Uzi? And thoughtful insight on the Stephen, let me know. How you going to do that with Lil Uzi? <laughs> Knocking on the door, baby. <laughs> like, how, how you gonna do that with Lil Uzi, Steven? Let me know. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. Oh, but I'm man. interested in the fucking show. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I'm I'm fucking with it. February sixteenth, man. Yeah, definitely. Definitely fuck with them. What he meant by that was the diamond was gonna be in his forehead. That's what he was telling us earlier. All his friends are dead, but if you play it backwards, diamonds in my forehead. Mm. <laughs> you get it, Jalen? Mm. Y'all not finna sit here and try to cover mm. for this. And that's the message from Lucifer, Lucifer. Mm. And I just, I just, I just can't have this. I'm an ordained minister. Mm. That is a fact. Mm. So can I be? So wait, if I was to become Muslim, would I not be a minister no more? Would I not be an ordained minister You're anymore? The wrong niggas. I'm asking the listeners okay, at this point. Say, Somebody needs to tweet and let us know. <laughs> Comment. I'm sure Tasha will tell you. She always listens and tells us something that we said wrong. Oh, God. She <laughs> did say, hey, she <laughs> said call her. Yeah, she, said, call, yeah, she said call us. Yeah, shout out to, shout, shout, shout to Tasha. She said that we need to. Uh, Damn, we don't got no women questions today. We don't. That was really a Friday ass conversation. We had spent the whole hour talking about women. That was a Friday ass <laughs> conversation. No, the conversation about the period and shit. The, cl- oh, the self cleaning mechanism. The self cleaning mechanism oh. for vagina is really funny as fuck. Yeah, I believe. Um, yeah, I think we got that wrong though. Yeah. Oh, we did. I believe. Uh, yeah, I think the period cleans like the uh, like the ovaries, like the inside. Oh shit. Bro, we probably speak. It, it just come out through the wrong. pussy. Oh shit. I can't remember exactly. That might be, actually be it. Now that like you say it. I yeah, think that's just microwave. the microwave. You meant oven. 
you said. Yeah, you stuff. definitely meant oven. The self cleaning button. I said microwave again. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, on the pocket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah microwave, yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an oven, bro. <laughs> no, I think I corrected myself though after I said it. Bro. I think you did too. Oh, yeah. I think you did too. Okay. All right. Um. But where, where else was we going after this, man? We was talking about line pitch. So yeah, we excited to see Steven's yeah, show. Travis Tune in Steve. on that shit. Yeah. February sixteenth. February sixteenth. For sure. Pitch for pennies to find out where it's going to be at. Um, Oh! Best rap writer Compton. Did y'all see that conversation? The game can rap really well. He just does a lot of corny shit, but I'm still going with Kendrick. But then the game is second for sure. Really? Yeah. Who is it? Okay. (laughs) Okay. Who's really from Compton, though? Who's really? Soldier. Because let them niggas tell it. Let anybody tell it. Nobody's really from Compton. (laughs) <laughs> that nigga not really from here. Yeah, I, I've heard shit say Kendrick not really from there. Exactly, bro. Like anybody DJ quick from Compton too. Quick? Yeah. Don't. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I want to say yes, but I don't know. I don't it's know. MC8. Like the list of. Mm. Mm. He is the one on Compton, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Dre the best rapper from Compton. No, he's not. Best rapper from. Com- yeah, you're wild. <laughs> You're a wild That's so disrespectful to cube. Wilding. <laughs> and Hove. Hove? Like them niggas didn't pin for Dre? He from Compton? No, I said that's disrespectful to cube. He's saying to the niggas who wrote for To the him. niggas that wrote his raps. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying though. Like if you don't if you wanna like I was just basing it off of who said the words in that statement. I know, you missed the joke though. That's yeah, cool. I hear you. I did miss a joke though. Oh, I was man. confused. I'm like, Hove from I'm Compton? Like, oh, I was gonna say what? I didn't expect you to miss it though. <laughs> yeah. All right, but yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't care. I'm sick of this question. I don't give a fuck. How many times have you heard it? Shit. In a nutshell, (laughs) what I'm saying, the the game said that shit on social media, which means he's trying to get niggas riled up, which means he has something coming out. That's what I'm getting from this, honestly. It's another rollout. Beginning of a rollout. Facts, facts, rollout vibes. Yeah, he was in an interview, so he probably doing press run. Gotcha. Um, well, Silento sorry. is charged with the murder of his cousin. Silento! Whip Nene nigga that took over the charts like, like about like four or five years ago. No way. It was um, that. Yeah, yeah, bro. It was about 2017. 2016. Yeah, no way. Yep. No. There's no. I don't believe you. Hold on. Yep. I don't it's been that long, fam. JJ's five years old. Nah, oh, they came out at the same time? Definitely. Whip Nene came out when JJ was an infant. Nigga, the Nene was happening when Vine was still out. Now watch me, Nick. Now watch me, Nene. That's it was different. Years. Yeah, it was different. That's man. different. It, it, remember, the shit was evolving. Bro. It evolved not, today. There's no way time is going that Because the Nene was out for a long time. Yeah. And then that Whip Nene song came out. As it was if, a group of dreadhead niggas that I knew of for the Nene. I'm, I'm saying like, when the Silento song came out, though, fam. Yeah. Silento added the Whip on it to yeah. protect I mean, them for copyright claims. Wasn't yeah. the Whip out there in Vine, too? He, he put them together. It. He didn't create it. He, he made the made song. song that was high. That was, bar- was family friendly. Everybody can do it. Alright. Yeah, so All right. I'm, I would have never put spotlight on this man. But <laughs> that was surprising to read though. That he killed his cousin? Yeah. Twenty fifteen. You're right. You hear the song you recorded? That nigga would do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga will do anything. Wow, world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, points was made. <laughs> Did you hear the song that got him to start him? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> That's where... Yeah, Boosie coming to the soundboard soon. Boosie coming on the podcast soon. Yeah, facts. Boosie. I know you listen. That shit crazy. It came out 2015, bro. There's yeah. no way. All right, we done with Salento. I got an important yeah, I, question. I don't really have anything else to add on that. I, I think we got on the... Yeah, fuck Salento. Oh, we got some more shit to talk about. Dude. I'm a little... I'm, I guess we'll find out how the story develops. I doubt it, but we might. Um, So... Let's get down to a question I may have brought up on here before, but I don't think I did. So mm-hmm. we're going to talk about it. So when you get a record deal, right, we all know like you get a record deal usually for a certain amount of project term. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I got a five album deal with Warner Brother or I got a three album deal with Capital, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. sometimes they'll add years with that album time. So you got to make the albums in a certain time frame. Yes. Type shit. Yes. And there's that gray area where like, you still might not even be done whenever you finish. Facts. But Facts. 
for but let's remove let's remove those right now for this conversation. So it's just the project being a term of the album. I mean, you can keep the year one in there too, but it doesn't really. Go with what you, mean. you can keep the year one in there too, but it doesn't really uh, take away from what I was about to say. Um, mm. so Jalen, say I put out Illmatic, right? Mm-hmm. I should have used somebody whose discography I know in order, <laughs> but just use Michael Jackson real quick. Keep it. I don't simple. know that nigga's discography in order. Jesus Christ! All right. What, you want me to start with the Jackson 5 Christmas just, album? Just start with the ones everybody seems to know. Just start with Off the Wall. Even though that wasn't his first solo album, just start with that. And go from there. You got five albums. Go. Man, I'm just go with that mag, bro. Just go with that <laughs> Nigga, Nas don't have five memorable album runs. Come on now. I'm just, I'm trying to get him to. <laughs> Say you put out College Dropout. Okay. All right, man. Here, 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 here we go. go. Here go. <laughs> Say I got a five album deal. Yeah. I put out College Dropout. I put out Late Registration. I put out Graduation. Yeah. Then I put out graduation in the deluxe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do I only have one more album left on my deal, or do I still have two? Two. Deluxes don't count as new albums to me. Where have you seen this? To you. I'm talking about. Contract. I'm talking about in the terms oh, the of contract. in the in the oh. music business. Oh. Do yeah. we know? Talk about your opinion. Do oh, we oh. know as fans? Do we know how these? Uh, I have no fucking idea. How these deluxe albums are working with niggas' contracts? Yeah, I have no fucking idea. That's a good question. I have no idea though. Because a lot of niggas are making completely new albums and branding them under the same deluxe. Now, I think I debunked my own question whenever I brought up the statement to where. You get money to do an album. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're giving niggas more money to go ahead and put out a deluxe, so I don't think it counts towards a deal. I think the deluxe helps the artist. That's like bonus money for the artist type shit. Yes, I think it helps the artist more than it helps the label because the artist gets to yeah. make money off more streams since they're not touring right now. Yeah, and it's like a lot of times too, they get to throw some shit on there that the label probably didn't approve, so it's like more lenient with what songs they choose, but... That, that they think will pop. And that's why these deluxes are not been hitting. There's probably three good deluxe out there. Conway Deluxe is fire. So you say uh, the label makes better divisions, choices than artists? Divisions Deluxe is fire. I'm not saying that. Um, Sometimes. I'm, I'm not saying that right now. Uh, Janae's Deluxe is fire. I wouldn't ever listen you to a Janae album. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like Phil up there. No, her last album is actually like pretty is good. It, is yeah. it worth it? Wish I could have seen it was coming out. I probably would have supported it. Probably would have bought it. Damn. He lost a supporter. What did you say there? Nothing. Nothing. I've searched <laughs> and searched and searched. I went in the archives. I done searched our na- at names right side by side. Like, looking for every interaction you from the, the first day. Names? You oh, probably yes, liked this week where somebody was talking shit about her. Ain't no way she blocked this nigga over a like, bro. You never, bro. I've been bugged no bite- over a like before. Well, those kind of people are horrible, so. They are, but it's like there's you can't no way it. you blocking a motherfucker. Some of them be like, motherfuckers who be trying to be on the time on bullying motherfuckers, and then they get mad when you like the bully, like laugh at it. Somebody roasting the ass, <laughs> uh, and then they try to like go block you. It's like you gonna block me? That's on you. <laughs> shit was <laughs> funny. Fuck you. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's really that simple. <laughs> shit was yeah. funny. What you want me to do about it? <laughs> yeah. Roast back, nigga. Shit. Right. I want to say. I want to see what you got to say. <laughs> they say fight back, nigga. Fight back. <laughs> God, I don't man. care if you lose, but no, you still fight back. You but um, <laughs> but Malcolm, answer your question. I feel like in the record industry, that wouldn't be considered a new album, though. Depends how the artist goes about it. You can say that because how he was saying, like how deluxes are now becoming damn near whole new albums, but they're still putting it out in the same name. Mm-hmm. Yep, like Lil Uzi's deluxe was a whole new album versus Conway's deluxe was just five new songs. It was still some. It was still the same songs in there, but just hella new songs. On Lil Uzi shit? Yeah. I thought it was a 21 completely new songs. Uh-uh. It, it was added on. What song? What album are you talking about? The most recent one, right? Does he have one after the Love is Rage 2? Because if y'all talking about something, I The don't. one that has Kobe on there. And all the songs that he That had, just lets you know that I ain't listened to him. All the songs he had on there with uh, so. Pierre Bourne, too. I don't know. Marcus is my Lil Uzi correspondent. I don't yeah, know. I'm going to do a look. Yeah. I'm going to do a look. So, anything after... Eternal Take. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Eternal Take. take. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah, bro. That's yeah. not a whole new album? No. Well, it's more songs added on, but if you look, 
if you look, bro, like it goes from like one Got you. to fourteen. Then it goes one. But yes, that's what I'm saying. He added 18. a whole so a whole another album. Yeah. 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 But it's like it's still the same songs packaged in with that with the new shits too. So it, it don't yeah. really, it's not really a new album for real. But that is for shaving purposes, to double up on the streams. Oh, thanks. That I don't think that would not, would uh it's the same album. I don't me. think that would um instantly negate it. Because you can find them separately on, on on streaming services. You can find Eternal to Take, then you can find Eternal to Take Deluxe. They're like separate. And me from uploading my music, when you do it separately, like you can find Weekend as a single separately, yeah. and then you can find Weekends on an album. Yeah. So it's like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I get I double up the streams, but it's the same song. They're packaged different. And that's where it gets tricky. And that's where and that is the gray area Do I we don't know the understand. answer to this question or we don't know that. No, we don't. Okay. Oh this is literally a question trying like, Yeah. Over, I over. could I could never find anything definitively to put me whether it counts or whether it doesn't count. That's why I was like, I wanted to talk about it to see what y'all Well, have to I was say going about. okay. So let's compare it to. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And that would make sense. Yeah. I just don't know if that's definite enough to make it. Now I'm. Re- I, I need to know like the actual answer because that's something that I'm gonna think about now. Yeah, so, that's a good. I'm surprised that Joe and I haven't talked about this yet. That is. Hmm. They hardly have. I don't, but I don't. I don't feel like I've caught an episode where they've talked about this. So yeah, me either. So you know, same thing. With I haven't missed the episode deals, in a while. Single deals. Same. So, so, so wait, wait, say it again. What about if? There's album deals. There's also single deals. So if yeah. a nigga puts out the song, that's just a, let's just okay. Let's just take the the throat baby song. Matter of fact, no. Let's take one that's already actually been used. Let's do the fucking Old Town Road. How many times that motherfucker get remixed? Like four. Mm-hmm. More than four, I feel like. Officially, like four. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Yeah. So that nigga had like. I, didn't he put out two albums or just one? Right. Two. Two. He got two albums out. I think, yeah. I think. Damn. I'm not sure, but I think. Hmm. Alright, that kind of like throws a wrench in my statement there, huh? Because I don't only had one album. But the remix happened, but the remixes happened before the projects, so you can still go with it with your statement. Oh, got you. Okay, alright, alright. So. Because he could have like got a new deal or something after. I was going to say, yeah. let's say, you know, a lot of acts during the, so- like when social media was starting to produce mm-hmm. acts out of nowhere getting deals, these niggas was probably getting single deals. Or one album deals type shit, like mm-hmm. in a big ass advance or front or whatever and shit like that. So let's take him for example. He he already admitted he wasn't a musical artist. Really? So with that, um, I'm sure he probably just got a couple single deals, maybe a single or two or whatever. Yeah. So who's to say that the Old Town Road remixes weren't part of his single deals or whatever? Because every time he dropped them, I'm not gonna say that. Um, he uh he like rearranged them every time. Every remix is a diff- it's like a different arrangement. Oh, that's a different song. That's why I say it all depends or defers on how the artist goes about it. And then let's take uh let's take better. Remix is a different song. Yeah, yeah. But let's take better. How you was talking about like what the eternal take shit. Mm-hmm. Let's take better by Deontay. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. He actually got three different versions now because he just got the live version of the album. Mm-hmm. So it's better. The original, and then you got Better Deluxe, which but, is two sides. No. What? There's two sides of the the Better Deluxe, but his Deluxe, the original track, the Deluxe songs are mixed in. Yeah. Like I was gonna get to that. Track one and two of the original track list on the Deluxe may be track four and and nine. On the on that, yeah. Like, yeah, you. He, okay. like it was it was all re um what's that called? He rearranged it. No. What? Sequence. He re oh, the he whole thing. Oh, he the whole album. Yeah, literally. So, like, and then on the live version, it's re again. Even different from the deluxe? Yes. I hope I like it. I'm going to listen to it. <laughs> I didn't like the sequencing on the deluxe. I know. Yeah, we talked about that. We talked about that. Okay. So, it's like, I don't, it all would depend on how the artist approaches it. In comparison to the original. I feel yep. like that's important to this. To yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. 
So like, who knows? I'm not trying. You know, you know what I'm saying? No, I feel you. I feel you. A, that's weird, right? Yeah, it's a little tricky, especially with where and, everything is self independent nowadays. And with the people who have their contracts before this stuff is even happening, that's what. I'm how saying. does that get yep. written in? Yep, that's what I'm saying. Especially shit being self independent nowadays. Like, how does that work when you go from independent to now being fronted back or backed up by? Millionaires and billionaires and shit like that. Or no, no, no. I'm, I wasn't even saying that. Oh, you wasn't saying that. Yeah, yeah that, that's a different. That's that would throw a wrench in it too. But say I get a record deal in 2017, and the, the pandemic hits in 2020. I'm still in that same contract, and now deluxes are a thing. If I put out a, a deluxe album that's resequenced, you better believe that's counting against my deal. Cause we didn't even y'all didn't even know that I that this stuff could be done this pre doing it. Exactly. Yeah. So you can't sit here and say, no, this doesn't count. Cause this is part of the standard now. And that yeah. and that is But you know contracts always get renewed every time something new happens too, right? Not always. It depends on the contract. But they do a lot, but it depends on the contract. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm not saying this business, the music business literally always is shifting, so contracts is always getting updated like fucking newsletters and shit. Literally. What you get in paper this day may not be what's on paper by this end because of some shit that goes on in the industry. Yeah, the stipulations. No, yeah. Yeah. So is this some yeah, it's, if anybody has more knowledge on this that's listening yeah. and wanna, you know, chop it up Real with us, give some, yeah, give us some more insight on what's Please. going on and shit, definitely feel free to hit the brother guys hotline. For sure. We you made it, made it a like thing for real, for real. People, brother, guys, how long? I tried to make it a thing. Yeah. Niggas don't. Nobody called in. I keep on having people like say they fuck with that feature. And they well, look, y'all. The like, brother guys hot. Yeah, they can open. still do it. That motherfucker yeah. has been open. Just call the number. You know we'll saying, we'll, we'll start. We'll start sending out a tweet when we record and, and tell niggas hit the hotline if they got something to say. Facts. Facts. You want to put the number on here one more time? Just nah, like a segment. We'll do it when we ready. Just like a segment. Yeah, the or hotline. Like, or like give them a certain time to call on Twitter. Like yo, call the number now if you wanna. Yep, yep, but it'll change because we part at different day, different times, different days. We got the hotline yeah, yeah. So, segments, but yeah, we can. I'm, yeah, we can do that, hey man. We trying to get y'all involved. We love y'all. We want to hear from y'all. Definitely gotcha. feedback. Um, but yeah, that was a good question, actually. What's up about this? I remark them how to fire episode today. A word? Mm-hmm. Honestly, anything. Shout them. Shout them. Anything. Yeah. 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 They, had, uh, they what? Kendall driver's seat on. They said what? Oh, they had the driver's seat? Oh, they had, they had candle on? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Hey, hey. So, go check that out. They're on YouTube now, too. Hey. Oh. Oh. Let's oh. fucking eat. That's what I'm saying. Let's fucking eat. I missed that, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking eat. Let's fucking eat. <laughs> uh, create Music Group's credit card will turn streaming royalties into immediate cash. The music company made a one-of-a-kind card with the goal of empowering middle-class artists... We're trying to get our artists to think like entrepreneurs and build their brand, says Creates COO Alexandre Williams. Uh, so, yeah, we're basically we're basically getting the credit card out to the artists uh, so they can immediately get their royalties. That is clutch. On the card. For I the ones that own their masters. Yeah, For the I'll, ones that I'll own I would personally it. rather have it just come to my bank account and go about it like that. Cause I'm sure you can transfer seems, it. It seems <sighs> to me, yeah, they probably can. Um, it seems to me that anytime I use like one of those like weird ass cards like that, it's always some like bullshit when you're trying to get shit. money out. Yeah, because it's a prepaid account, nine times out of ten. Yeah, please do your hardest to try to get that thought out your head about what prepaid cards. Uh, no, <coughs> just be open to new banking systems. Definitely in this day and age, you definitely need to be open to new banking systems. I just say paying the fucking ATM fee. That's my biggest thing. <coughs> and, uh, and a lot of times, too, like, I'm always getting charged some wild-ass membership fee <coughs> off the strength of it being, like, a startup bank. And I was just thinking, established. oh, startup bank. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, new, like, the new, like, online banks and shit, like Chime and NetSpin and shit like that. They charge you a fee? Bro, like, I have a NetSpin account that charges me, like, five nine five a month. Damn. Yeah. I don't know nothing about NetSpin. Yeah. I know Chime doesn't charge I've had a time account, never done anything with it. I've had it for about two years. Oh, for real? Never done one thing with it. No charge. Uh, no charge. Thomas, look, and it's crazy because everybody has stories about Cash App fucking them over. Never has that ever happened to me. Yeah. I've never had a Cash App problem. I still got it for Cash App. I did at one point, but like it was very minor compared to what people have told me. 
It was very minor. I mean, the only problem I have with Cash App was Austin Dumbass sending my money to the wrong Cash App. <sighs> and they kept it too, didn't they? they even... Well, it was a Cash App account that I can't access. Oh. It, it was it was one of my old ones, oh, but okay. yeah. That's tragic. Um, That's tragic. What else we got? Lil Durk and Chance are the same nigga. Who put that? <laughs> <laughs> you read that way too solidly. <laughs> Versus the context that shit was originally spoken in. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm, I'm lost, bro. I don't even know he that. read it verbatim, though. That's the yeah, funny part. Yeah, as fuck. Because, <laughs> man, I was just... I was listening to Still Trapping. And then I forgot what happened. Oh, he yeah. Are, he always talking about his wife. Yeah, he was always talking about his shorty and, and his shit. Kids. I don't know why it's Still Trapping. Oh, little Dirk does now? Bro, what? He, he loves his wife. He loves his girl. He loves his girl out loud. Just like Chance. But I was like, they the same nigga. Dirk is just the hood version of Chance. Mm-hmm. Chance you, ever, you, you ever think that we just be hating because we ain't? I'm not hating. Because just... I know that's where I've become from with it. I'm not saying I don't be hating. I don't right. know what you're talking about. Everybody bad. So like you just hating if they like. I feel like niggas just be hating because like they really want that. So they want what like, he got. Yeah. Well, that's usually how it go. Yeah. That's where I'm coming from with it anyway. Um, I would I would roast Chance. Um, I was roasting Chance for his taste, but that's disrespectful. See. So I have to stop. See. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. Fifty second NAACP MMs Award categories what? and nominees. Fuck the NAACP MMs Awards. All them niggas. All them niggas. Fuck who, bro? Nap. Yeah. Check out the NAACP awards, man. I don't really feel like going through all these nominees and shit. I'm not going to lie to you. I just see my nigga TM88 get nominated for Best Producer of the Year. So, shout out to the game. Hey, how do, why Why everybody call it FAFSA when it's spelled F-A-F-S-A? It's definitely FAFSA, not FAFSA. I'm going to keep on saying FAFSA. But niggas is going to say FAFSA until they die. Excuse me. Y'all going to say... Why do niggas call it that? Because it's just easier to say. saying it, bro. It's FAFSA. That's how, that's how niggas call it Meyer Myers. <laughs> yeah, I hate that too. There's no S. <laughs> yeah. It's just Meyer. Yeah. It's just something that niggas say, bro. We're going to Myers. How far are we in? I feel like this is long as fuck. Nigga, we at two hours and ten minutes. I'm very anal with shit like that. That shit grinds my gears. Like, I hate I hate mature. Yeah, what? Mature. <laughs> Who, who's going around saying mature? Please, you never heard a nigga say that? Please no. tell me. Bro. You're not mature enough, nigga. Bro, I never heard my mama said that a few times. And then one time, nigga, we were sitting in church and my pastor said it. And me and my mama looked at each other at the same time. And our eyes just locked. I, was like, I said, we got to go. I said, it's time to go. I told her. I literally, like, I said, hey, it's time to go. Like, we got to go. How did he say that? I was trying to. He said mature. I was trying to. He just wasn't mature. I was trying to walk out. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this pastor always like projected like at every moment? Nigga, my like, pastor was projected too. Yeah, true, but I don't know. Jay looks like got he got like a he got a, uh, he got a ninety-nine cent pastor. <laughs> <laughs> like like when he like do the voice Your like pastor is crap floating down right. <laughs> No, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Like, but, yeah, I think it said. I mean, uh, Pastor Hill said mature. I was like. Hey, I fuck with you, bro, but you can't be saying that mature. when you talk about my God. Like, mature. you can't be saying no, mature. mature. Is funny as mature. Yeah, my God. I think like a nigga saying Jesus instead Excuse of Jesus. Me. Excuse me? Ain't no nigga saying Jesus. <laughs> you from like the South or something? Like... <laughs> he didn't say Jesus. Oh, All right. Okay. I'm about to okay. say, ain't no way this nigga saying Jesus in a past. No, pastor. I said that's like a nigga doing that. Oh, it's like, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm still stuck on the mature nigga. I'm like, bro, he got a speech impediment at this point. Or they call you Jaleen? Huh? I told you about that Jalene story, didn't I? <laughs> I didn't say that shit. I don't recall that one. Jaleen? I was working at Target, bro. It was a white lady, bro. It was like a Target in a nice ass area, a bunch of white folks, you know. Right. I was like, damn, like one of the only black people that worked at the store. And a white lady walked up to me, trying to read my name tag. She's like, Ex- excuse me, H- how do you say your name? Mind you. I have the most basic way of spelling the name Jalen. J A L E N. Maybe she saw two extra. N's. Maybe she was seeing double. Oh, fuck no. Nothing extra. <laughs> I mean, two E's. My bad. Nothing extra about my name. And she's looking at my name tag. Ja. Ja. Jaleen? <laughs> yeah, said, you told us this. I said, no, it's Jalen. I feel like I've told a story on you. Yeah, you did. You did. But yeah, fam. Call me Jaleen. <laughs> she thought you was Muslim. <laughs> no offense to Muslim people, but like. <laughs> I don't think we got anything else to talk about, bro. 
I think that's a podcast. Yeah, I man. think it's hilarious. All right, let me say one more thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. <gasps> Stream, how did we get here? Facts. Oh, we're supposed to cut it off. Come on, man. That was going to oh. be gold. Imagine if, imagine if you left on that cliffhanger to the next like week. Soprano. Y'all got to learn. Remember, type shit. Look, every TV show you watch, leave you on a cliffhanger every week. But you come back next week, you forgive it. You cuss the motherfuckers out of the air. Like, what the fuck? How you going to end it right there? But you come back and you sitting right there next week. Oh, okay, bet. Yeah. Yeah, right. you know. All right. Go ahead, Malcolm. Yeah. Or T Rose, excuse me. <laughs> no, I'm three T Rose with three O's, man. Okay. Yeah, Malcolm. Buy his beats. Por- oh, yeah, sure, please. Uh, but don't buy the ones I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let you know, those are the ones they want. Bro. No, that's a lot of tears. It's always the one you working on. No, that's a lot of it's the tears. one they want. I'll be like, what? Who this nigga? Who this like, nigga? <laughs> And mind you, I send batches out, so they have more than just what the fuck y'all got. Like, they have a, at least... Now choose the ones I ain't got, nigga. Nigga, I got the files. Fuck you mean more than what I got. I got what you got. Fuck you mean. Eh, do you? Go ahead, Malcolm. Shit. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Malcolm is important. Jacking for beats, nigga. <laughs> Hey, you can follow me at McFly Miller on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow the podcast on Twitter at The Brother Guys. And you can follow us on Instagram at The Brother Guys Podcast. Follow us on Facebook at The Brother Guys Podcast. Uh, Linktree, The Brother Guys. Uh, I don't think we got no. The Shopify.com. Facts. Get, grab you a hoodie. Grab you some stickers. Wish you could see it right we're, now. We're working, you know. on, we're working on merch, on new merch. New should merch. Be getting, should be getting your hoodies. Um, let us know some items y'all want to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let us, I think let us so. know some stuff. Yeah, which I want. And we also got a.